Hello, everyone, and welcome Hello. back to BMNG Drive. We are here with another round, uh, or another game, if you like, on this Death Run map, this Fall Guys style map, uh, where things are going to probably, I am sure, going to be very silly. It's going to work a little bit differently today than we saw in the video. Uh, it should be quite entertaining. It should be, I mean, it should be crazy. That's the goal. Uh, essentially, our vehicles, so we're starting off, we're all set, we're all built our cars. Or mostly building our cars, I think Pegasus is getting connected. Uh, so the cars, 0 0.2 in terms of the power to weight ratio, which we are pretty much spot on at. Um, they all are rear wheel drive. No all wheel drive cheating here. Uh, everyone is rear wheel drive, so there's going to be less traction, there's going to be more oversteer. Hopefully more intrigue. And some of these courses might get a little bit sketchy for rear-wheel drive. That is the hope. And the tyres, they're all sport tyres. So they're all, all sport tyres maximum. You can... You can go for different if you so wish. I don't know why you would. Uh, maybe some form of, like, chunky off-road tyre to give you a bit more ground clearance for some of the obstacles might be an idea. But I think you're going to be giving up a lot of grip. Although, this isn't a racetrack. Grip isn't the most important thing. Um, we've got an interesting selection of cars. We've got a couple of Grand Marshals. Can't go wrong with those. They are always very, very tough. Uh, Amy has, I think, a Blue Buck. Uh, of course, it's big, it's strong. Uh, Lado has the Caprice, I think it is, uh, lifted a state car. Danger Man has an I-Series with wheels. I, 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 the less said about them, the better. I'm just going to call them wheels at the moment, and Lado, I know what Lado has done. What Lado has done is press the events queued button, only press it over in that corner and quit. Well, I'm going to guess that's what Lado has done. In fact, just for the sake of trying to make sure I don't do something silly, I'm going to save the config of my car. Um, because, yeah, you never know... Um, what you're going to need uh, or what's going to happen. So I am just going to save I save my car just in case something crashes and we have to go back to um, have to, back to reloading, etc. So there we go. We will try and get uh, everybody back connected Ooh. and everything. Um, so yeah, we will we will give it we will give it a try. Uh, now format for the event. We're still unfortunately we, we're still doing the typical. Let's try and get everyone working uh, in all of this. Okay, Rusty, turn up. We're gonna be a little bit slow. <laughs> it's the way it goes. So the format. All the cars are gonna be starting in the first race, and unlike the video where the winner progressed to the final and the losers moved on to a next round, it's not gonna work like that. Last place is eliminated. Now, I saw it suggested in the comment of the video. I thought it was a really interesting way of doing it. So that is what we are going to trial. Uh, so, last place is going to be eliminated, and we'll keep going through until it's just a 1v1. Now, that means early on, you may get a little bit of a chance. You know, you make a little mistake, you might better come. Later on, it's going to be you really can't afford to make a mistake and all of that kind of stuff. Um, it's going to be interesting, I think, we're going to see here. It's going to be an interesting one. Uh, to see how this all plays out. Um, bumping is going to happen. You're not allowed to sort of just completely torpedo someone, but there is going to be bumping, there is going to be pushing. Uh, we saw what happened last time out. If you fall off, you reset, but you have to reset at the start line. You can't just hold back and teleport your car to the latest safe place. If you fall off, no node grabbing allowed either. If you get stuck, if you roll, we slightly changed the rule a little bit on that. Um, but yeah, if you get stuck, you, you roll over, you get wedged, wherever, you have to reset to the start line. Um, so yeah, it is definitely going to be chaotic. Um, we are getting vehicles vaguely ready here. Uh, Brazen has an indicator on, I can just about see going on the Grand Marshal. Uh, some cars are running through some tests here. So apologies for slight delay on getting started. We've got to bloody everyone's turning up today. Uh... <laughs> Ah, oh, Spieler's turned up. The creator of the map is here. Uh, fantastic. Uh, they, oh, they are even in the Discord as well. Fantastic. Okay, we, we are definitely right. You know what? I'll read some donations while we're here. Unit uh, X81, thank you for, well, two donations because you managed to get the wrong cult initially. The cult of 81 has taken over the donation bar in this. Lado! Nope. 
I will not go in the pit. Uh, I was reading donations, and now Lado's tried to play Demo Derby. Uh, I tried to get my car in gear while Lado was climbing over it. Because we're going to try and push Lado in the, in the drink. I feel like Lado may be a little bit stronger than we are. My, tr my hope is, can I goad Lado into a mistake? Uh... <laughs> Someone! Anybody! Help! Oh, well, Amy's... Well, Amy's fallen in the drink, trying to push Impega in. I'm trying to take out Lado's wheel. Sorry, we're playing a little bit of Demo Derby while we wait for everyone to get connected. If you are just tuning in, welcome. We haven't quite started yet. Uh, everyone's got to build cars to certain performances. Oh, crap. That's fine. You can take that corner off. Uh, can I roll? Do we reckon we can roll, Lado? Also, do give me a shout about car volumes, because I'm never sure with Beam. My headset is very loud, but I don't know whether it translates into... Uh, oh... No, <laughs> no, we're all in the drink. Brazen, you ruined the plan. <laughs> uh, the plan did get ruined, but Lado did go swimming at least. Uh, well, Lado overcooked it themselves. They don't really have the turning circle in that uh, truck. Unfortunately, I should have let Brazen do it, to be fair. The game's just letting. Anyway, uh, yes, we are playing a silly, silly demo derby game while we get everybody uh, sorted. And Peggy's got a Claria. Rusky's got a Barstow. Good luck with that. Um, Drake, thank you very much for the donation. Saying Limerick to begin. Enjoy. Uh, time for some falling done in great style. Hopefully we'll get good fun to last for a while. Brazen goes down and Chris has no frown. Let's see who... Let's see how it goes as Alex faces a stunt trial. I mean, we are definitely going to... Uh, it's definitely going to be challenging. Cars are a little bit quiet. Okay, I can turn that up. Beam is weird. It's super... Super loud in my headset and really quiet in OBS. I don't quite know why. So maybe my headset, my headset must be boosting it. So I don't normally play with a headset on. It's only because we're setting up Discord. I don't, I'm not a big fan of actually wearing uh, headsets for game sound too much. But uh, yeah, um, but yes, if uh, choice, if possible, uh, pick a leaner. I don't think I don't think they're going to work because we're probably only going to have a. Car. We're going to have a lot of rounds, but you're kind of going to get attached to your car. Um, we're going to be, I say, a little bit attached to our vehicles. This is a lot of people to run through here uh, to see who is going to be crowned champion. I don't quite expect to get 10 for this, but it's cool. Um, we will see. We've got a couple of a couple of these big Chevys. Lado's, of course, in mayhem again. Of course, Lado is. We must, we must deal with the troublemaker. Ah, oh, I couldn't quite get into a position. Oh, I ended up in park. Not... Not wanted to end up in park. I should perhaps say as well, for the sake of this one. Um, oh, sorry, Impega, you were an innocent bystander. Uh, if you are out of the game, remove your car just because lag's going to be a problem. Uh, there, there is going to be a little bit of frame rate lag. Uh, right. I am hopeful we are going to be close to getting everybody ready over here. Um, we can actually, I can, you know, we can have a little bit of a look. Okay, Amy's car is set. Uh, Brazen's car is fine. Lad so Lado's going for a different strategy. Lado's actually going for less power, hopeful for more control. Which, so 0 0.2 is the limit, but you can go under it. No rules about that. Um, Danger Man is still modifying with better wheels, I will say. Uh, Impego is still modifying. Spieler is still modifying. Shadow is going for, again, the slightly less power on... It's not the worst approach. It's really not the worst approach. Um, Speedbeats, I believe, is still modifying as well. Uh, Rusky. Rusky's a little powerful, although we do generally let those with the less powerful computers run a bit more power. Rusky and Impega in particular uh, tend to have issues. So lower PCs, your cars are actually slower, uh, which is the way the game works. Danger Man's car is ready. Uh, Impega's is swimming. And somewhere is mine. There we go. So yeah, some of the lower NPCs, we're kind of happy to let run a little bit more in terms of the power, just to give him a, a fighting chance. It's going to be difficult. There's a lot more vehicles than we were expecting here. So, uh, yeah, there is that. Um, just waiting for people to build cars. Um, how's everyone's day going? 
It's been quite a nice day, actually, in England. I was out walking dogs. I probably got a bit sunburned because I'm English and don't do well in the sun. <laughs> like that's, I feel like that's just a fitting sentence to say. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to get my aircon in my office for tomorrow uh, because today is not even that hot and my office is already at 29. I can see it on the thermostat and it's not a, ni it's not a nice 29. When you're outside, 29 is not too bad. When, you, when it's a computer-assisted heat of 29, it's horrible. Um... Uh, ladder's got one minute water. Yeah, I don't disagree with that, that plan. But yeah, oh, I saw that some of these messages weren't up here. Oh, I just wasn't paying attention. Um, right. Peg is still swimming at the moment, which is uh, <laughs> less than ideal for all of this. Um, ah, Peg, I might have, might have finished that car. Okay. Um... Pega is up. Let's get everyone on the grid. Sorry, folks. We had way more people taking, coming to take part today than we expected. So it's taken a little while to faff about. Let's just have a quick check through. Amy's car is ready. Brazen's is ready. Uh, Rusky's is, is good enough. Lado is going for less power. Speed Beast is about to get updated. Shadows is okay. Danger Man's okay. Uh, Spielers is still underpowered, uh, but might be one of these... Maybe he's going to run it under power. Don't know. Um, I don't know if Spielers is fixed. And I think there's a little bit of weirdness going on. Right. We are going to... Um, well, we're going to... We're going to do... Uh, <laughs> I didn't mean to put it in caps, but I've got I've got caps lock on by accident. Uh, so, <laughs> you know what? We will just shout at everybody. Um... I didn't intend to do that. However, it works. Uh, I've got to do all the events because I want all the cars to be loaded as best as possible. Uh, no idea where Speed Beast is. Well, if you're not ready, we're going. And if you fall behind, you will be eliminated. Uh, right. I don't even know if it is 30 seconds properly. It's probably going to be close enough at least. Uh, it looks like Speed Beast is on the grid. Right. Here we go. Our race is beginning. Only last place is eliminated. The rest of the vehicles will make it through as we are off and underway. So I have got rally suspension on my 800 series. Brazen is facing the wrong way. It's an absolute mess. It's an absolute mess. There are a couple of stricken cars that uh, have kind of blocked the circuit a bit. Speed Beast has helped me. Well, I can't go anywhere. You can push me around all you like. Um... We are just got to get through this. It's because it's a narrow section there. Uh, I am stuck on... I can't actually get into reverse. You know what? I'm crash welded on someone. We're just going to reset ourselves at this point. Uh, yeah, we were crash welded on a Shadow or Impega. I'm not quite sure where the crash weld was, but uh, we were stuck. I mean, we've reset it. We've basically caught up at this point. Um, now, this bit here is... I say a little bit difficult. You want to jump fast enough to get over there. Shadow's beached it. Impega's car is a little bit lagging, I think. Lado may well have damaged and had to reset. That's fine. Again, the goal here is just don't come last. Don't come last. Don't make any more mistakes on this. I mean, it wasn't really... I say it wasn't really my mistake. It was just too many cars trying to fit. Uh... Peggy, with that little bit of lag, is a little sketchy to try and overtake. I mean, honestly, I'm not even that fussed about overtaking in Pega at this point. I'm mostly happy just to sit behind. It looks like Brazen is through. Amy is through. Uh, actually, no, Amy's not there yet. Danger Man is doing okay. Uh, we will try and see if we can overtake an in Pega. I mean, our car's in better condition. Uh, Danger Man is on the donuts of death. Donuts are very dangerous uh, in Pega. Oh, God, don't crash into the car. So it's just easier to, to go to the opposite side than try and make the really tight turn. Uh, we will head now down here. This is where you've got to be really careful with the brakes. Rear-wheel drive cars will struggle more as they go to climb the hill here. We climb the hill. I say that we'll struggle more. They, they've, they've got good enough tyres for this. Uh, we will head around. And there is one more corner for the finish. 
Raisin is through. Danger Man is through. Uh, if you can try and block the car, we will make it. Uh, <laughs> the 800 series is in to the next round. Uh, Impega is going to make it. That looks heavily damaged, but it's probably not as heavily damaged as that. Ah, oh, Shadow's fallen off. So, Spieler, if Spieler doesn't make any mistakes, so Spieler is, is the uh, creator of this wonderful map. Uh, Spieler is climbing the hill with the Marama. It's got a couple more quarters to go. They are likely to make it. So, what have we got left? Rusky versus Speed Beast, and there has been contact in the Bollardy bit. They are. They are in trouble. Spieler has made it. So they've got to reset and get going again. Oh, Rusky might have broken the car. Uh, so we have Speed Beast with the crazy lifted uh, whatever the hell you want to call it. Uh, I think that's the, the, the Caprice or something along those lines. It's the old full-size mod. And I can't remember all the different names of them. Shadow is trying to get that Grand Marshal up the hill. Now, we saw Lado had to reset. Lado's not having a great time back there. So, at the moment, Rusky is in, is, is in danger here. Unless one of these cars fall off, of course. It's very easy to fall off uh, through this course. So, who is going? I feel like the really lifted cars. The Donut of Death is probably not great for that. I, I don't know. Well, yeah. It doesn't look like it's got much steering lock, that car. Speed Beast is through. Is across in one piece. And we'll head down the hill. Uh, Speed Beast makes it. Shadow is making the corner. Lado is... Why are you doing that, Lado? You're playing that one very dangerously. That one is... Uh, <laughs> that's really dangerous. Speed Beast can't make the corner. Your vehicle can't make the turns. Lado, fair play. Making it across the narrow section and the donut quite quickly. Uh, you didn't actually need to really risk it, though, because Rusky is a long way back. Speed Beast will do it, as will Shadow. They are both across the line. They are through. Now, all Lado has to do is not fall off. That's that's all Lado has to do, is not fall off. Not do that. <laughs> uh, don't fall off now, Lado. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. You can make it. It's a bit slidey. It's a bit struggling. And, well, that's a clonk. If you break down now, it'll be very funny. Frusky is a long way back. Um, but if you break down, it would be hilarious. It doesn't. Lado is across the line. Lado is through. Danger Man did have a disconnect, but La Danger Man had already finished the course. Rusky has beached it, I think. Oh, dear. Unfortunately, Rusky is eliminated. From this, uh, from this game, the Barstow is out. It was manic. It was absolutely manic, as you would expect. And then there's probably the demo derby going on at the top. Uh, the 800 series, not bad, not amazing, not, not, not amazing. But we did get kind of stuffed up at the start, so we don't really know the grand scheme of things. It was perfectly good enough to make it through. So yeah, we ended up in fourth. We got caught up in the chaos. It's a good start for us. So, unfortunately, poor Rusky is uh, eliminated. Uh-oh. Uh, we have been tangled up with Anne Brazen. Uh, we will move on to the next area. Uh, so, we move on to the next level. Here we go. Uh, we have got... Uh, you know what? I'm going to start... I don't want to start behind Lado, but I'll, I'll start behind Spieler. Uh, <laughs> I feel like it's dangerous starting behind Lado. But, you know, uh, this should be fine. We've got some very big... I feel like I'm in... A, well, Spieler must feel like they're in a tight... I feel like I'm in a very small car. And it's very rare you'd say the 800 series is a small car. However, it does feel like it right here. Murama must feel absolutely tiny. Uh, compared to uh, these others. Um, oh, Rusky's drive shaft kept giving up. Yeah, probably not the best for this course. Um, so, yeah, that will, uh, that will... That will that will cause problems. So, we've just got to get Danger Man loaded into the correct car, and then we will be ready to go. So, place your bets, chat. Who do you reckon is going out this time around?
I mean, <laughs> honestly, I say it could be anybody. This course uh, is probably a little bit tougher, actually. There's a couple of very nasty obstacles. The rollers here, uh, this checkerboard can be a problem. Uh, the end section is not too bad if you take it slowly, but if you're desperate to make up time, you may ascend it a bit too hard. It's really these rollers and this checkerboard are the main, mean obstacles. Someone might be brave and try and take the shortcut. I think it's unlikely, but someone's going someone's to try it. Someone desperate is going to try it to um, catch up if they have fallen behind. Uh, right. Uh, is Danger Man's car... Actually, can I? I believe I can just do that. Danger Man's car is set and, I believe, ready to go. Uh, okay. Uh, oh wait, hold on. I need to tap back to me. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, I think... I say I think I will give everybody a, um, quick warning before we go, just so they all have a rough idea. That uh, uh, Danger Man is panicking. It looks like it looked like that was set up all right. It looks like it was at zero point two. Um, so <laughs> there we go. Um, I think Lado's contraption could be in trouble, but we shall see. Uh, it it does have a lot more ground clearance, which could come in handy in a couple of places. Here we go. It is time for the race. The countdown is beginning. The mayhem will inevitably unfold trying to fit too many cars into the tube. We're going to basically punt Spina forward and we've killed Lado. <laughs> Sorry, Lado. Uh, it was a battle between me and Lado and this time we won. However, if Lado survives, Lado will remember this. Uh, there is a good chance we could get punted in a future, uh, a future round by a Ladosaurus. And I wouldn't probably blame them, to be honest. Uh... Yeah, that was straight from the off. I did say I thought it might struggle. It wasn't because I was going to kill it. It wasn't the intention. We just got a, better, a way better start than I expected uh, through all of that. It just it worked for us. Oh, that's bad. We clogged. Oh, my steering is in a lot of trouble here. We're gone. Uh, <laughs> I clonked and bent my steering. Yeah, that's bad news for us. The rollers, as I said, are very difficult. Uh, they are a horribly tough obstacle. I don't think my car is very good at them, uh, which is a bit of a problem. Uh, now, Lado may go for payback if Lado realises I am behind them, uh, which I wasn't going to... I was trying. I was expecting Lado to go left. They did not. Uh, the temptation to bump and punt is, is a lot, but Shadow has fallen off, so there's no reason to start a war. There's no reason to start a war here in the slightest. Uh, okay, I'm just going to take this one easy, I think. I've got to be careful. <laughs> Lado's gone. It was gloriously funny. Lado is off. Don't break my steering. Through here, we do not. There seems to be some cars having some issues up ahead as well, which we could potentially pass. It looks like Shadow may have gotten stuck slightly. Uh, right. We should be able to just go straight over there. Fantastic. We do. Uh, Impega may have broken down slightly or had overheating issues not a hundred percent sure what was happening there okay we are through so we'll get away with little errors at this stage of the event or speed beast has to reset as well yeah we'll get away with these little errors because chances are multiple people are going to make them as the numbers dwindle down it's you're going to have to be better and better uh, you just cannot afford the little mistakes. Uh, I'm ter I want to race in Pega, but I also don't. Like I, I want to overtake in Pega, but it's more important to make sure we finish than a pointless battle over fourth or fifth. Uh, fifth, I believe it is. Danger Man is going to get fourth. Oh, back end almost let go, but it is all good. We will cross the line. We are through. Oh, in Pega might be in trouble, you know, down there. In Pega could be. If that's stuck... Oh, no! Impega had issues on the wavy road. Impega has had to go to the start line. Lado is really struggling with traction in the lifted vehicle. It looks like it's collapsed its front suspension. It might be how it always is. Oh, it's lost a tyre. There is a little bit of desync on the damage, so we can't be 100% sure. Here goes the 
vehicle up the spirals, although it's looking... I mean, all Ladder has to do is get to the finish line. We saw Brazen have a big crash uh, on the run to the finish line. Shadow's got stuck on the, like, checkerboardy bit. Pega and Speed Beast are heading along. I mean, they're kind of safe. Well, not, not kind of safe. There are... Shadow is at least further back if they don't make any mistakes. But, uh... <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's, you're never safe, really, on the Fall Guys map. But Lado is over the crests. Just got to not lock the brakes, not lose the back end through here. And, oh, <laughs> oh that was so close. That was millimetres away from uh, potential disaster. But Lado is across the line. The uh, lifted estate car will make it. Impega's having a better time. I mean, yeah, Impega was... Very close to the finish line when it went wrong. It's between Shadow and Speed Beast now. Uh, I've, oh, Speed Beast has hit the cheese grater and is out. Well, not out, but it's had to be reset. It's just, <laughs> Shadow, the Grand Marshal does not seem to be enjoying this. It seems a bit too low, as does... Well, I say... The, the Grand Marshal is a little bit too low. The, the Chevy that Speed Beast is driving seems like it's tall enough, but it just seems to be catching wheels on bits of scenery. And Impega is up. Impega is across the line. Nicely done. Um, and Lado is somehow on their roof. I'm not quite sure how that happened, but it has. Uh, now, Shadow has got... To, ah, Shadow's negated, uh, negotiated the cheese grater. I think Speed Beast is in trouble. Um, I think Speed Beast is in, is in trouble in this one. Uh, barring a big off. It's just that Chevy just does not seem like it's very good. I don't know what's... Lado's struggling with it as well. Uh, with a different spec one for that. It just really seemed to be struggling. Uh, Shadow is climbing up the hill. It looks it looks like it's been through the wars. I don't think it's steering properly. But it doesn't need to. <laughs> I mean, it's going to have to be a better run on the next course for Shadow. There is no doubt about it. However, uh, it does look like Shadow will at least get the try. <laughs> The Grand Marshal is heavily damaged. It is pulling to one side quite badly. However, as it runs up the hill, it is going to be Shadow who is through to the next round. Well done for making it. Speed Beast, unfortunately, is eliminated. That vehicle just doesn't seem like it can... It's just really struggling with the cheese grater. That seemed to be its downfall. Don't know why. Uh, potentially the exposed wheels were causing it grief. So... Rusky and Speed Beast are out. The rest of us will move on. And judging by the... Ah! <laughs> um, problems occurred. A problem has occurred. Uh, well, you know what? I should have done... I was hoping I could hold it long enough. Whoop. And... Clonk! <laughs> Stolen brazen spot. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Never mind. You know what? They can have their own kerfuffle. I'm going to go and steal a front row spot for the moment. I don't know whether it's actually for the better, because the chances are... Oh! <laughs> Lado's going to cheat! <laughs> oh. It is just carnage. I, I don't actually even know if I want to be on the front row, particularly, because this this course is a bit different. There's a, little, a lot more chance for side-by-side -side antics at the start. Which I don't know if is actually good. Because, again, someone's going to fall off, right? I don't want it to be me. I really don't want it to be me that has a tumble here. So, yeah. We shall see. Load of changes. I think Danger Man might have the right car now. Or back to what it was in the original spec. Looks like it. Uh, are we waiting for anybody? No, I don't think so. Where maybe Shadow. We're waiting for Shadow. Uh, to get over here. Shadow is still recovering from that uh, previous round. Lado is going to Lado, of course. Uh, <laughs> Lado is going to Lado. Uh, Brazen is definitely going to Brazen. And we will see what happens. Um, so far, I haven't really seen much of Brazen or Amy, to be honest. They've kind of been at the front. They've got through quite easily in this. I don't really know if my car's any good at the moment. And that's the difficult part. Um, I don't really know if my car is any good because we've, we've tended to get stuck early on. We had a great start in that previous one, but a, bent, a bit of bent steering and an awkward angle on a pipe was the end of us. So, uh, oh, Shadow's 
teleported over here. That's fine. Um, please tell me Shadow hasn't lost their car. All of their, like, details about it. Um, I mean, Spieler is managing to do this uh, with uh, half the power. That's very impressive. Um, I think people have lost some of them. I think Shadow's lost some of their cars. Um, <laughs> oh, we'll get there eventually. We are professional. Semi-professional mm, semi is a bit kind. Whoa. We are we are ready. We are good to go. Okay. Let us begin. Impega is panic. I think we are all going to panic for this. It's going to be madness. I just don't want to fall in the water this time. We are off and underway. The blue buck launches a little bit faster. We did tag it ever so slightly, but uh, not intentional. However, there was a little bit of a tag on the blue buck. Uh, however, we will follow Amy into the hairpin. You see, I've got a smaller and lighter car, which should make me a bit more agile, but will mean that I get pushed around by the heavy muscle car. My turning circle will be better. Uh, we are all into the lead of the race. So Amy's going for the jump. Or what? You're basically going to have to take one of the jumps through that section. Uh, this is probably the best sort of course for my car. I'm one of the smaller cars here. We are more of a sports car rather than an obstacle car, if that makes sense. You're going to need some speed for these jumps, but not too much. Because uh, you want a nice landing. Oh, and then you're going to want to line yourself up for these sections. I don't even know what to call this section. Rollers, maybe? Uh, you don't want to get your car wedged in there. Oh, like that. I've bent my steering. Okay, that's bad because I've now got to try and do a wall ride with bent steering. Nope, I can't do it. Can't do it. Bent steering has killed me. Okay, well, good news is a bunch of cars have fallen off. So I hit one of the rollers and that's what just buckled my steering beyond you. That's really frustrating because we're having a great run there. We know this car is quick here, but we also know we can have issues if we are not careful on that because the front end is quite low. So, important information. Just wish I could have learned it. Well, I should have kind of known it perhaps going into this. Uh, right. We're on the outside of Impega. Can't really do much there. I don't know whether we actually tap the Claria through there. We're still side by side with the estate car. Don't want to get pushed off. Danger Man is behind. A few cars are behind. So, yeah. Last thing I want to do is bend my steering again and make it impossible through that uh, wall ride section. I think Brazen and Spieler might have had good runs. Uh, they seem to be through. Uh, right. On. Oh, no! Oh, oh no. Impeg has killed us. <laughs> no. No. No, that's bad. That's really bad. It might be a race between me and Impega trying not to get eliminated here now. I don't know if everyone else is making it through. Uh, we've got to kind of hope for a couple more eliminations. I don't want it to come down to this. There's nothing I could have really done on that one. I was committed. And I can't, once you're committed to the Mentos, as someone in chat I saw called them, yeah, you can't change line at that point. You're just stuck. That is the line you are taking. And you've got to hope that uh, an Impega doesn't have a massive crash in front of you. Oh, yeah, we threw we threw away an easy victory, and we've made this a lot more difficult for ourselves than it should have been. Okay, Shadow's also fallen back, so that's I mean that's a slight bit of a breather if Impega passes us. Right up here, that was not very precise, but it is good enough. Danger Man is a little bit wedged as well on here. Okay, we are through this time. No brakes on the car. No. Oh, God, the wall ride. The wall ride is actually a lot nastier with this car than it was with the all-wheel drive thing I used last time. However, we are through. Okay. Yeah, that wall ride is technical. That wall ride is a little bit difficult. Uh, no reason to do anything silly here. My front bumper's not going to like this section. Oh. Yeah, I can damage the induction system. I don't mind too much. By the looks of it, it is. It looks like we might actually end up fourth somehow, which would be impressive, all things considered. I'll take fourth on it, considering, considering how that could have gone. I will take fourth place right there. Uh, <laughs> so, 
We have made it. Spieler is through. Brazen. I mean, this has been consistent. It's been pretty consistent. Spieler, Amy, and Brazen making it through. Uh, we've been fourth and fifth. and fi Fourth, fifth, fourth. So we've been quite consistent in our positioning. We should have done better there. Uh, it, that was a poor run from us. Impega is now over the Mentos. This wall ride is a lot more difficult in these cars. You've really got to boot it because they do slide about quite a lot. Impega is through nicely. Will we get it slowed down? Nope. <laughs> oh, no. The hard work was done, but you've really got to slow it down after the wall ride. Danger Man has made it to the wall ride section. Um, yeah, you've really got to go for it. It might land on its wheels. If it lands on its wheels, you can carry on. Uh, however, will that be able to get the speed up yet? Yeah, that's a good idea, Danger Man. Reverse it up. I mean, it's a long shot from here. But it might just be possible. Because it's only a small wall ride section. Nicely done. Don't go off the edge. Get it stopped. Get it turned. There we go. Well done, Danger Man. Good recovery. Oh, no. Oh, no. I, I literally just said good job. It needs a little bit more speed. That is beached. Oh, that's... that's... <laughs> I say that's terrible. Um, oh, that is unfortunate. Uh, a random person, thank you for the super chat. I uh, say, love of the IRL videos. Oh, well, thank you very much. I'm sure there'll be more to come uh, with the van and just in general as well. Do not worry. Um, I'm sure there will be some more along the way. I think Lado's just had another falling off uh, over there. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm really glad to hear uh, that video. It took it took a fair bit of effort from... Uh, from, from <laughs> from Lado uh, to get all that working, but with any luck. Um, oh, Danger Man has got free. I think Impega might have actually gone to push Danger Man off, but Danger Man has managed to wiggle it free. Um, don't fall off now, for God's sake. Uh, this is a really tight, really tight corners. Uh, so you have to carry a little bit more speed over here than you really want, because you don't want to get beached again. I think Danger Man's car might be dragging somewhere. There's a little bit of desync on the damage, of course. Um, and Pega's going to make it. The Claria is through to another round. Danger Man's I-Series. It's battered. Great recovery. Considering the roll in the tubes. And that will be the I-Series across. So it falls to... Lado versus Shadow. Um, here. Who will make it? I think Lado's car is going to have real problems on the wall ride. Even if it gets everything else perfect. I think the wall ride is going to be a problem. Because it's so top heavy. And, oh god. Oh, Shadow, don't go there. Oh dear, you've both beans that. No one's moving anywhere, are they? You're both stuck. Well, um, Lado might be broken. Shadow's definitely... Oh no. Now, now... Now Shadow is definitely stuck. <laughs> Lado has forfeit. Shadow lives to fight another round in all of this. Um... And there we go. Well, if Lado has Lado's forfeited, the big old, um, the big old Chevy. It looks awesome. However, it has some problems. I think Lado is regretting the choice of vehicle here. Yeah, it has some. It has some problems in that one. Okay. Well, we will go and reset our cars. We will head back to the first arena. It, I mean, Brazen, Amy, and Speeder are the ones to beat at the moment, pretty much. Um, Shadow's had some troubles with Grand Marshal. I think it's a bit too low for this one. Oh, well, I was going to be nice to the person who made the wonderful map, but Brazen wasn't. So, there we go. <laughs> oh, Christ. That's <laughs> just a wheel. I love that. I love just the wheel from somebody appears back there. That is brilliant. I don't even quite know where that wheel came from, but there we go. Um, uh, Michael the Kiwi, thank you very much for the donation. Saying, can I get more than 12 boos today? Here goes, probably. Uh, a truck carrying Vic's vapor rub overturned on the highway. Amazingly, there was no congestion for several hours. <laughs> I'm not going to give you a boo. That's fantastic. I love that one. Um, that is actually, I think, one of my favorite ones of these terrible puns. 
I have seen. Whether chat decides to give you a boo or not, I don't know. They might. However, um, it was fantastic, so no boo to you from me anyway. From chat, we will see. Uh, random person also, thank you very much for the donation. I presume the same person as, as in the Super Chat, but thank you. I think the IRL car challenge. Yeah, there will hopefully be some more content. I'm not quite sure exactly when, but I do very much hope that uh, there shall be some more of that in the near future. As I say, not just going to be real-life stuff with the van. I have plenty of ideas for um, more real-life stuff in the not-too-crazy-distant future. Uh, Darth Hedgehog, thank you very much for the donation as well. We're about to get going, I'll read these. I say, hey Alex, it's been a long time since I attended one of your streams. But, uh, uh well, welcome, welcome to the stream. Uh, but I don't know if you would even care, but I would like to let you know that uh, WWE are going to be in London, July the 1st, O2 Arena. Oh, I did see it was going in England. Oh, apparently we're going. Well, this is, this is it. I was just reading donations, but we're off. Um, I'm not a big wrestling fan, however, it's cool that it's coming to England. So, yeah, if you do enjoy the uh, WWE, awesome. Uh, it's good to see it. Good to see some more of the... Like, I would like... I want to go see Monster Jam, because that comes to England. I also want to go see the NFL matches that play over here at some point. Um, because, yeah, I do actually... I like American sports. I'm a big fan of them. Oh, dear. Um, so, I think that's a big Monster Jam. It's not really American sport. Oh, Spielers does not go as quick over here as I want to. I'm sorry. I thought you were doing to take the jump to get the nice landing, but you do not. I apologize. We have murdered. We have been on the murder path uh, at the moment, and I do apologize. Um, I think the Marama might still be able to do it. I hope I haven't knocked Spieler out, but I was fully expecting the speed over the jumps to... Because uh, you can get a smoother landing if you jump a little bit further. However... Uh, Apparently, Maramar did not want to go at Old Brazen, you absolute lunatic. I'm not going that way. Because uh, the chances of me falling off are quite great. It has worked for them. They know what they're doing. Fair play. Uh, in the final, you might have to do that. The fact that we're not in the final yet. Oh, no. I've eaten a bumper. I think it's one of Brazen's because it's yellow and has a blue stripe on it. Come on, 800 series. There we go. We will make it. Brazen's got stuck. Your bumper's in the way. Uh, so I will give you a help. Oh, no. Well, I'm across the line, even though I actually lost a wheel. Can I even... Holy crap, that's so lucky. <gasps> Holy crap, Brazen's bumper... Brazen's bumper was about... A meter, a car length, basically. Brazen's bumper was a car length away from stopping me getting third. That is so lucky. It was only the momentum that carried me across. I have not got a diff that will allow me to be one-wheel drive. The bumper chewed up the wheel. Well done to Shadow. Much better run for the Grand Marshal this time around. Danger Man is through. Uh, it is Impega and Sp oh, Spiel is stuck. Spieler is stuck. I have a feeling the Murama might be in trouble. Uh, it wasn't that would, if that was just from my reset. I think that's that might have had other accidents along the way. I didn't help. I do apologise on that one. Um, I was expecting the Murama to be taking the jumps in, in in doubles, and it did not. It caught me out on that one. And that is the downside of the little cars. Um, they can get bullied a bit by the bigger vehicles. That is very unlucky. That <laughs> is very unlucky on that one. Um, it was a great battle at the front. Brazen and Amy were braver through that narrow section. We m you may have to run that in the final if you want to be competitive. We will have to wait and see how that goes. Um, I am so lucky that we got through that. Not Brazen's fault. Not Brazen's fault at all because you can't do anything about your bumper falling off. And also the bumper might not have even fallen off on Brazen's screen. Um... But, um, yeah, there we go. Um, <laughs> oh, Lana did the countdown. And oof, did it actually say, ah, well, it's fine. Um, it was a good race. We had just about finished reading the donation. Um, but yeah, anyway, it was the thing. Yeah, it's cool to see uh, more American events taking place over here. Um, even if you are not the biggest fan of, of a particular event, it's still nice that there is the option, if you do like it, to go and watch. Uh, what side do I want? I, mean, I feel like I want to be on this side. I feel like maybe we'll try to follow Brazen off the line. Um, so yeah, unit, uh, thank you very much 
for the donation. For the cult of 81, it is back there on the donation bar. Uh, also, <laughs> Donuts, thank you very much for the donation. Say hi, Alex. Well, hello. And hello to anybody who is just tuning in. I welcome you all uh, to this wonderful, wonderful Fall Guys tournament. We are part way through. The loser is eliminated from each round. Um, we will just give everyone the 30 second warning. So yeah, the loser is eliminated from each round and we will keep going until it's a 1v1. Uh, everyone is ready. Fantastic. Uh, then we will just go straight into it. Here we go. It's a countdown. So it's going to get tougher and tougher as it goes through. Little mistakes are going to be a lot more punished here. This is the course I think my car is weakest at. Um, but we will see how that goes uh, through here. Amy's car may be the... Well, I think I kind of fear the Grand Marshal the most out of all... Uh, no, sorry, not Grand Marshal. The Blue Buck the most. Then probably the Grand Marshal uh, would be the cars... Be the order of vehicles I fear. Amy is being very brave. I'm not going for the middles. I don't have the fine control. Uh, I also don't trust my right height. My right height's not great in this car. So... And it's not really paid off for Amy either. Right, slowly does it over this. We saw what happens last time. I know my front end is a little suspect through there, but we are clear. That is good. I can hear the Claria going to the side. Uh, oh, God. Are we lined up? We are. Fantastic. All right, make the corner. It's me versus Impega. Impega is actually waiting. Uh, that was the silly game of who is going to go first, because I was waiting and Impega was waiting. Uh, <laughs> we, neither of us wanted to... Uh, is a bump each other off. Like, there's no point in having a silly crash at this stage. We've got a nice lead. It's calm at the front. Uh, looks like Amy could be in trouble here. I think Amy tried the shortcut, and I don't know if it was a good shout particularly. I'm not... There's no, no need for any silly risk here. Someone further back might send it over here. You can go a lot faster, but I don't have any need for it. Uh, so we can just kind of cruise down the hill... And it will be the first round victory for the 800 series. A pretty much perfect run. Can't fault that one. We've barely got any damage either. Maybe slightly dinked the front bumper. Brazes across the line in second. Uh, Danger Man's getting better as we go through with this. Um, Danger Man's through in third. Nicely done. Danger Man with the I-series. Brazen, good finish. Amy made it. Amy has made it with the Blue Buck. It is going to be... Oh, Impega's off. Shadow's crashed as well. Oh, will Shadow's Grand Marshal climb this hill with no momentum? Or is the steering knackered? This is this is going to be a challenge. These are all rear-wheel drive cars. Will Shadow have enough traction? It looks like it's going to work. There's no steering left on that thing. But the Grand Marshal makes it. Impega... I don't, I don't quite know what happened. Impega was right behind us. Pega was right behind us, and an accident occurred. Um, at some point, dropped them back. If they hadn't fallen off on the wavy road, they could maybe have beaten Shadow. If Shadow hit the post right at the end. Oh, it's getting tough. It's getting tough now. As it's supposed to. It's ramping up. That's the whole point of this. Um, yeah. Christ. That was a great run for the 800 series. I'm happy with that. I did not reset my spawn point. I swear I did. Neither did Shadow. That was quite lucky. Uh... <laughs> Ugh. That's fine. Um, I mean, who do we think we need to help a little bit? Both of them? Oh, they reset. <laughs> right. This this route... I think this route is the best one for my car. I think the second route is the worst for me. I think this route is probably the best for me. Although, we know that... Um, uh, wall ride. I'm, I'm suspect of my car on the wall ride. We do seem to be a little bit awkward there. Uh, oh. Oh, God. We are not ready to go here, but apparently we are. Uh, right. We are off. Oh, I don't want to go... I don't want to go side by side with a heavy muscle car. Muscle car... Not the... Not the fight we wanted. Muscle car had a spin. Well, there's going to be a very angry Amy, but it was having a spin of its own at that time. And they've also, everyone's also had a crash. I feel like, well, we got very sideways in that, in front of everyone, and then every, I think the car on the inside hit the wall and stopped. And I think that's caused the issues back there. Um, yeah. 
is going to be an angry Amy. Uh, <laughs> bumping is, is, I say, allowed. You don't really want to. Uh, and the last thing you want to do is make rivals in here, because, you know, they'll probably pay it back to you at some point. However, yeah, I was kind of committed to the next corner, not realising the blue buck was about to uh, have an accident of its own. Of course, there's no guarantee, even though we've got through this first section quite well, there's no guarantee we get through the rest of this, because I think I've just tweaked my steering. Uh, this is the problem part for me. I have badly damaged my steering. This is really bad news for me. Come on, 800 series. You can do this. My front right wheel is all manners of not working properly. Uh, we have got through the oh, difficult part. This bit just don't get beached. We've seen cars get beached so far. The rear wheel drive cars can come undone. I have very little steering. Well, I say that, I have very inconsistent steering. It actually just kind of sorts itself out, but I'm just going to be really slow here. There is no need for any risks through there. It will be two wins in a row for the 800 series. Um, lucky the Mentos broke my steering quite badly again. Actually, I was going to say that that course is the best for my car, apart from the Mentos. The Mentos are devastating for my car. The rest of the course, though, the car is good at. Amy is going to come across the line in second. No real, no real harm done. See, I, I did. I, if you're going to have an accident, it's best to have it at the start. To be fair, um, there is a shadow that is stuck. Danger Man is going to get stuck trying to go around. Oh, Shadow's got free. Uh, Brazen is through. Danger Man's in trouble. I think Danger Man is going to be out here if Shadow doesn't have to reset. Shadow has made it. Brazen, oh, Brazen's got stuck. Brazen is beached on the curb. So, oh, now all oh, the Grand Marshals are stuck again. Shadow stuck. Brazen stuck. No one had any momentum going over that. So, at least I didn't do that. Uh, it's going to be Shadow. You are not going to wrestle that car off there. You want to re... Like, as soon as you're stuck, if you can't get free, you've just got to reset. You could... Now, what Shadow might be doing is waiting and hoping someone bumps them. They don't. Uh, it would be a big... That, that would be a hell of a brave waiting game uh, to, to try and go for that because it would... You'd be sat waiting for a long time and it's a real hope because no one's going to want to help their... Comp uh, you know, the competitors out. Brazen's going for the ramps. Gets to the inside of Danger Man but almost gets served off. Uh, oh, karma! <laughs> Oh, <laughs> that is, if ever you need a, a, a visual representation of karma, right? <laughs> that is the best. That is just the best. <laughs> oh, amazing. Uh, well, Danger Man has gone for <laughs> a swim. Brazen is going over the Mentos. The Grand Marshal, I mean, Grand Marshal's been strong throughout so far. Um... It looks better on the wall ride than uh, than some of the cars have been. Just got to not get stuck. So I don't think I don't think Amy has any trouble with the ride height. I think the blue buck's the best ride height wise. Um, I have issues with my front end getting caught. The Grand Marshals are just getting stuck up here. That's weird. I think you've got to. You've obviously got to, got to boot it. And Brazen could be in trouble. Yeah, Brazen has has got stuck. The the right height of some of these cars is causing real issues. Danger Man is playing the aggressive game. You don't want to do that and bend your steering. Uh, if we even if we take a side, you know, try not to oh punt your fellow competitors off. Shadows rolled. Now if Danger Man has already done a run up, Danger Man might actually be in trouble with Shadow's stricken Grand Marshal being in the way. Uh, no, Grand Marshal's fallen off. Danger Man is through. Will we get a third place finisher? This course has been punishing with these cars. Uh, so Danger Man looks like they've got enough ride height. That looks like that should be fine. It is. I uh, wonder if it was maybe broken last time going through here. Maybe it had suspension damage. Danger Man has carried speed as long as it does not fall off through here. It would be devastating to make a mistake through here. Danger Man will cross the line. It is victory for the I-Series. One more car will make it through. I think this is going to be where the final round is as well. Crap. I really don't want that. Uh, <laughs> 
I really don't want that. Really don't want the final round on here because I think the blue buck is better than me here. Um, I think the blue buck may be a slightly better car, but uh, we're very good at the start here, so we can get ahead of the blue buck. That would be my hope. Brazen looks like they're going to make it this time around. Oh no. <laughs> oh, and I feel like this is just a. F that is just having all the issues. It's another stuck Grand Marshal. Shadows. I mean, it could go to either of these Grand Marshals if either of them. I needn't really have worried about this, to be honest. Because uh, all it. <laughs> All we needed was to grab our shores just to get stuck. I had my busted steering um, was not all that much of a problem. Can Shadow make it? Nope, because Shadow's got stuck on a different... What's going on? Oh, I think Amy was going to go rescue Brazen. I think Recovery Amy service might have turned up. What is going on with these Grand Marshals? Uh... <laughs> Things are happening. Not things that are supposed to happen. I swear Brazen made it through. Oh, Bra Amy has been told, not allowed to help. No, you're not allowed to help. Um, I swear Bra Brazen made it through first time. I mean, yeah, as, as Brazen was still here. Lado and Shadow got stuck. So, obviously, I th there's, there's a little bit of desync. Let's not forget, this is a mod, right? Multiplier, so there's a little bit of desync with the damage and so on. But I don't know. I guess maybe you're going to have to. If you're going to go straight up there, you're going to have to back it up and really run and jump. You can't do it very well here. I don't think you've got the room to zigzag too well. Um, uh, the long wheelbase might be what's the problem. So the shorter wheelbase of my 800 series is, is helping uh, a little bit. And the I series got a bit more ground clearance. Um, going on. The blue buck definitely with the uh, ground clearance to do it. Brazen has climbed that one. This one here you can get a good run up. Although rear wheel drive you struggle to put that power down. Uh, so I think Brazen may... Uh, Brazen is now going for the zigzag. Just got to make sure you don't overdo it. Uh, nicely done. There you go. That's how it's done. Shadow is going to be eliminated. Um, it does. You do have enough steering to get over it. At an angle. Shadow is less than happy with the car. Brazen is through. Four cars remain. It's getting serious now. It is getting serious now. Uh, <laughs> oh, right. Me, Brazen. Danger Man and Amy are through to the next round. The final is going to be on that course as well. I kind of want Brazen in the final because I feel like... I stand a good shot, although Brazen has now figured out how to get the Grand Marshal over there. So, there is that. Oh, dear. <laughs> no. <laughs> Sorry. My brakes weren't working. Um, right. What might we see here? What on Ooh. earth might we see here? Um... Uh, well, thank you for the donations. Sorry, I, will, I think we're going to try and get through these rounds. So I will read donations, I promise. Probably just be as we're swapping cars uh, going into the next. Because we, we're kind of getting through here quite quickly. Okay, here we go. The race is afoot. What are we going to see on this course? We will launch. We are underway. It's a great start for the 800 series. I've broken my induction system immediately, but I think it might have been worth it to actually get the lead at this point. Try and stay out of the trouble. Although, this may be one of the better... I say one of the better runs for my car. That's what I was trying to do when I put Spieler into the into the water. Uh, not what I was going for. Not, I wasn't going for the punt, but my car is just happy going over that section. Uh, right, I want it in manual because I want to be able to put it in the gears that I want. I mean, the game's... The, the, the sequential's not actually that bad, but uh, I do feel like I want... Oh, want to make sure that I can do that. Now, I don't trust my car 
And I don't trust that I haven't got the tiniest bit of steering damage. So I am going to go the safe way. Someone's taking the danger route, and it's brazen. Of course it is. The lemon peril is here. Uh, we should be careful cutting across, though. Because the last thing I want to do is get a Grand Marshal in the door. Uh, right. Down the hill we go. Around the very tight corner. At the bottom. No exploding wheels, hopefully, on my run to the finish line. Uh, my front bumper is at a silly angle. Brazen has lost theirs. It's a good run. It's a clean run for the 800 series. Close race with Brazen. Good race. The 800 series is through. Brazen is through. The Grand Marshal lives to fight another day. It's going to be between Amy and Danger Man. Amy with a, much, with a big lead. Danger Man's had problems in this one. It is the Blue Bucks to lose, basically. Um, if Amy doesn't make a mistake, I can't. De well, Danger Man's not catching. Uh, I will, I'm expecting the blue buck to not risk the narrow yet. Yeah, there's no reason to. Uh, ooh, although that's a clonk that you didn't need. Uh, there's no reason to risk that narrow point when you've got a big lead over your competitor. Um, and we are not going to be coming back to this course. Oh, oh don't fall off the danger donut. <laughs> uh, it is making it. I mean, it's a bit clonky. That might be... That might be uh, what's the right word for it? It might be looking worse than it actually is. Uh, with the damage. I think Danger Man is in trouble here. Yeah, all the Blue Buck has to do is not make an error, not break down. As long as it doesn't spit out a wheel around the final corner, Danger Man is going to be eliminated. It will be my 800 series, Amy's Blue Buck and Brazen's Grand Marshal into the penultimate round. Danger Man, great effort. Great effort with that I-series uh, to make it into the top four. However... Danger Man is eliminated. Here we go. Here we go. I I mean, the ideal... I don't know what car I want to face. De Brayson's figured out how to deal with the bumps. Um, oh, did I... I, I, I bumpered... Oh, sorry, Danger Man. Bumper never came off on my screen. Uh, who do we want to follow through here? I mean... Do we try and share the tube with... I feel like maybe... Oh, God, we're going. I feel like we're going here. Right. Oh, God. I was in... I was in the wrong gear. Oh! We are going... We, we got a slightly better launch. We launched slightly better than the Grand Marshal. Could be useful to know. The Blue Buck is ahead. Now, is anybody going to take any kind of risky lines through here? I'm certainly not! Oh! There was definite contact. <laughs> oh, no. There's going to be an angry Amy. If that's fallen off, there's going to be a very angry Amy. Uh, it has not fallen off. It has not fallen off. We... Oh, dear. We're off. Oh, no. I didn't reset either in the right place. I don't think it's going to matter. We hit the wall. Brazen hit us. And, yeah... Much like with the slight bump on Amy, I swear I reset my car, but apparently not. It's not really going to matter, because if they are, if they are both, if they both make it, what can I do from back here? We have to hope that one of them falls off. It's not impossible. We saw Brazen throw away an easy lead on the downhill section, but with this format, I don't know why you would be pushing it hard there. Um, so yeah, it's unlikely. I'm not going to take the narrow. I think if I take the narrow things, I'm not going to gain enough time. I can't get my cars across there, so I don't ever bother. Um, I think we're actually just as quick going over here. I knew it would be the rollers that were the downfall. I just misjudged. Just misjudged where I needed to put the nose of my car. It's a mistake I made at the start. And while we could recover from that round, this round, we cannot, basically. Shame. The 800 series has been a great car in this. But a little error at the end is enough to see us, I think, eliminated by the looks of the nameplates. I believe they are both up there. Ah, uh, damn it. We are, I believe, eliminated. It's third place. It's not too bad. As we will drift our way up, unless either of them have fallen off, which they have not. I am indeed eliminated from this. We will send the car. Way. And that's why you don't send it quickly over there. We are out. Uh, 
Oh, despite the slight bump on Amy's vehicle. It put it sideways, but we didn't spin it. Damn it. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, it was going to happen at some point. We had, we had a great fight. We had a great fight in that one. So, here we go. Here we go. It is the final. We have got the Grand Marshal versus the Blue Buck. They both want to be on the left-hand side because it's a much better line into kind of the first real corner. I think we are all ready to go. We will start the countdown. Oh, that is, we've, both, we've had the same idea at the same time. This is going to be confusing, but there we go. We are off. Oh, Amy's immediately split off. Can the blue buck... So you could dive to the inside going that way. The blue buck may dive. It is too far back. Yeah, I don't quite know why you'd start alongside Brazen if that was going to be your plan. It feels a little bit counterintuitive. Um, now, the blue buck won't be very good in these twisty bits. You see, this is the bit the 800 series is very good at. It's, it's shorter, it's more agile, more modern, better suspension, all of that jazz. Uh, and we'd expect the Grand Marshal to be better than the Blue Buck. However, we've seen the Grand Marshal has ride height issues. Really big ride height issues. Uh, so, if Brazen's got it figured out, could be fine for the Grand Marshal. Uh, but, you could, if it goes slightly wrong anywhere, I think the Blue Buck... Blue Buck won't have the issues the Grand Marshal is going to have. Brazen's going to have to drive it perfectly, and the Blue Buck can probably be driven more aggressively in places. Uh, we are through the Mentos. Amy is definitely going for it a little bit more. You've got to, but the clonk there is not what the muscle car needed. It's still going. Now it's not. Blue Buck is in trouble. Brazen has got to get over the beaching curbs, essentially. Brazen figured it out last round. The Grand Marshal is heading up here. Don't get beached. Nicely done. All Brazen has to do is negotiate these hills. And despite a comedic affair in the previous round, uh, through here with the Grand Marshals just continually getting stuck, it looks like Brazen claims a victory. Brazen will win. Well done in that Grand Marshal. Amy put up a great fight with the Blue Buck. It is a very big, very long, very heavy car and everything. Did a great did a great run. Did a great round. But it will be the Grand Marshal that will claim a victory in this one. Nicely done, Brazen. I don't think... Oh, no, Brazen almost killed me at some point during that one. Shredded the uh, rear wheel with a loose bumper. Uh, on the run to the finish line, but we did still make it. Yeah, there have been plenty of near misses along the way. Hell, if Shadow had managed to get the car over the bumps, uh, <laughs> Shadow could well have eliminated Brazen. However, there we go. Well done. Well done, Brazen. Well done, everyone. It has been a very good, fun first round in all of this. Uh, we will go and uh, get ourselves... Uh... Oh, I've got to switch to... I've got to sport a car, actually. I don't have a car, of course. Um, yeah, okay. We will set up for the next round. So it's going to take a little bit of faffing around. Uh, performance. We are going to go 0.3. Slick tyres and all-wheel drive is allowed. You don't have to, but it is highly recommended. I'm just going to put it in the Discord. Um, so that they can figure out what to build. And I can start building a car as well while I read donations. Um, right, I'll read... Uh, I'll pick a car first and then I will read donations. Or I can do a little bit of both, actually. Let's go Let's go back. Um, uh, Kaiser, thank you for the donation. I'm saying a limerick for the Fall Guys beam combination. Uh, and Brayson set off with some flair, pushing his car as hard as he dare. With a display of great skill, he clambered the hill and bested the crew fair and square. Uh, not biased to or endorsed by the lemon. Well, considering that donation was 20 minutes ago, you did a very good job. Uh, <laughs> you did a really good job. As, um, yeah, it turned out turned out worked quite well for uh, for the lemon uh drake thank you very much for the donation saying boo worthy joke or not you decide i recently took my formula one car out to the ice cream parlor to celebrate its latest win when i asked so i asked it what it wanted it replied get me 
anything to dip my nose in except a rocky road. I think you're going to get a boo. I think you're going to get a boo on that one. Um, yeah, y you're going to get you're going to get a boo. Uh, I have an idea, but I don't know if it's a good idea or not. But it might be a good idea. I'm going short wheelbase. <laughs> short wheelbase lifted and a bit of power. Uh, unit, thank you very much for the donation. And I believe the 88 cult, 81 cult, sorry, is still on the donation bar. Indeed it is. Uh, Hino Meister, thank you very much. I don't know if I pronounced that one correctly, but uh, thank you very much for the donation. So you love the stream so far, Alex. Would it be possible to have a go with everyone in Pigeon slash Widgeons, or is that too chaotic? We won't run, we won't have one of these long rounds with that. However, we may see that later on. We may see that later on as a special one-off round, depending on how time works. Um, uh, Ollie White, thank you very much for the donation. Uh, so that's karma right there for Danger Man's bump. It was it was astonishing karma right there. Very, very funny. Um, Noodle Brain, thank you very much for the donation. Uh, saying, so I have a clean, nice-smelling Mighty Punto again for the first time in about a month. Also, I bet my Mighty Punto would be better than the RS6 on some of the amazing and beautiful roads around here. I mean, unless the roads are physically too small for the RS6, I think you'd struggle. Um, even though you might get through a corner, the RS6 would have so much power out of a corner. I think, like, even if we go for like an ultimate handling versus uh, essentially brute force, um, they'd have to be so tight to the point where the RS6 wouldn't fit. I think to um, for it to where I think just the sheer power of the Audi. If it could physically make the corners, I think the just the, the outright power would be would be overwhelming. But I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I don't know on that one. Right, we need to go and get. First thing is first. We need to. Do you let me have? Uh, oh God, I hate. I hate hate the fight that we have with the wheels I don't I don't know what wheels I want okay C50s I don't know what wheels you are C50 you look like you might give me race tires you don't because of course well maybe Dreed isn't a good okay do these work? I just want slicks, is what I want. Okay, we're going for steelies. I don't want that. How do I... Maybe I'm going to... I might have to... Sorry, this is a little bit of a faff. Uh, whatever wheels have gone on here... Do you give me... Oh, for God's sake. Can I not get uh, 14 by 7? That's quite a common one. Okay, 14 by 7. That should work. They're actually quite little wheels. Honestly, as long as... Uh, no, I don't, I don't actually know if I want little wheels. I could probably do with a bit bigger. Um, 16 by 7. Let's try that. Um, I'm thinking ride height, right? 16 by 7. Let's give this a go. Race front tyres. That's looking promising. 215. Sure. Tire width not as bigger a thing in this game as it is in um, Forza. So I would take bigger tire width if I had the chance. However, yeah, not not really going to have that. So it was 16 by something, wasn't it? Uh, 16 by 7. I believe it was these rear black wheels. Let's go for that. Um, okay, we have matching wheels, which is a surprise, because normally when I get fed up with cars and nonsense, uh, we just go with all sorts of mismatched. But that works. Okay. That's good. That we like. Now, I need a bit more power, because we're going up to 0 0.3, so I can do that easily enough. Maybe easily enough. Uh, stage 1 performance block. I want a bit more power. Okay. Mm. There's the other option, which I mm, I might take. So we can add power, or we can add lightness. We can go the old Colin Chapman way of simplify and add lightness. The roll cage might come out because they're quite heavy. 
the uh, I mean I personally wouldn't take the roll cage out of a obstacle course car however <laughs> uh, you know if we can save some weight do I take off the front bumper is my conundrum here I could it's got a bash plate under I'm, tr I'm thinking the front bumper could come off and it might actually oh no that expert no change of plan that exposes important bits where is it gone how have I lost a front bumper uh, is it shuffled me down somewhere in here I might go for front bash bar not to do the crashing but to do the protecting now that can that can protect the front important bits and then I can do the old dump out all the fuel oh look at that 0 0.3 on the dot we are all wheel drive we're a little bit stripped down I mean I'm pretty happy with it we can have look at this it's beautiful it is a wonderful wonderful thing we're at yeah 0 0.3 we've got Protection in the important gubbins. Oh dear God! <laughs> I'm seeing various things. Although who knows what's happening? I'm just going to reload, and we'll see what mess appears. Uh, good news! Thank you very much for the donation. Um, saying Skoda has announced an armored edition of their estate. I heard its protection is absolutely superb. <laughs> oh. You're not going to get a boo for that one. I like that one. Um, that was that was good. That was good. I like that one. Um, so chat may give you a boo. However, Skoda puns normally m are met with approval. Uh, if the thumbnail is saying race the flood, that's YouTube being broken. I have updated it. Well, I should have updated it. Yep, on my end, it's fine. YouTube's being dopey. Um, uh, Mr. M Mr. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that one correctly at all, but thank you very much for these donations. Say, how much for a spot of sabotage to the competition? I mean, well, last time out there was accidental sabotage without meaning to. Um, so, I mean, I'm not going to say there's no sabotage. I'm not going to say I am sabotaging, but there'll probably be some bumps along the way. Uh, <laughs> we shall see. <laughs> we, shall, we shall see. Um... I am going to get some cars loaded. So Lalo's had a similar idea to me, although actually maybe a bit more jacked up suspension. I might do a similar thing if I can. I think ride height. Ride height is going to be critical. Ride height and short wheelbase uh, is going to be good. Spring height. Yeah, I feel like maximum ride height. Th th there is a downside. So there's a downside to, to maximum height. My car actually doesn't get very high. Uh, the higher the suspension, the more likely you are to bend something in the car. Which, as you can see, you can see a little bit from my wheels, but also from Lado's, very exposed, very easy to snap an important thing off the car. Speed Beast, similar idea to me. Slightly different, much bigger wheels, tyres on that one. But uh, yeah, similar, similar idea. Um, uh, uh, unit to x81 thank you very much for the donation that did have the cult of 81 on the donation bar however it has since been replaced and i will say so noodle brain was saying the cult of 18 is better than the cult of 81 is better than the cult of 69 however while you have got the donation bar to read point 18 it now does read 81 18 and then of course it'd be 81 18 percent which is You've managed to get two cults in one, and I don't know if you were intending to, but it was quite impressive if you weren't. Um, Chris, thank you very much for the donation. I say the McLaren F1 was originally supposed to use a version of the Honda NSX engine, but Honda turned down Gordon Mu turned uh, Gordon Murray down when he approached them as they didn't see profit in the project. I vaguely remember reading that actually. I think I, I might have known that car fact. Um, but yeah, it's crazy. I mean, you think like the, the XJ220 that was supposed to have a V12, wasn't it initially? Um, and then yeah, things happen, things change, and they end up with a different engine. But McLaren is Honda are probably regretting that decision now. Um, you know, I think the, the Jag one got canned because it was too expensive to make. But yeah, Honda are probably regretting that decision in terms of. Uh, what the car went on to be. 
I, oh god, there are some wacky choices. So, okay, me, Shadow, Lado, all fairly sensible. Rusky, definitely not. Danger Man, fairly sensible. Spieler has a chance of falling over, I'm going to say. I don't know how big are a chance, but, um, yeah, Spieler definitely has a chance of falling over. Uh, Impega is going for Lightness Extraordinaire over there. Uh, <laughs> we will see how it goes. Petrol, thank you for the super chat. Uh, Say, so, hey, Alex, I guess you have been seeing the news of the update for GTA 5 with some cars being removed from the web websites. Uh, one of the cars is based on the Ferrari Roma. Uh, and, and, and got five car shows. Yeah, help me, Buzz. Yeah, you're going to be busy. You're going to be busy indeed with all of those. Yeah, this is the updates. It's a bit crap. Honestly, um, yeah, just taking cars off the websites to not cluster them, it's not that hard. Or, the other thing you could do that would require a bit of work was make the in-game websites a bit less crap. Like, could have just done that. They're right, they're not very good. They designed the websites, you could fix them. It would take maybe a day, but it's GTA, so, you know don't really care because they can't make no actually I don't know why like, e even I was going to make some sort of joke about them trying to sell shark cards but removing cars is less things to buy so less reasons to buy shark card unless it means uh, maybe it's make sure people buy shark cards so they buy all the vehicles when they come out because they don't know when they're going to go away that would probably be why yeah it's crap it's, it's stupid um but there we go. <laughs> uh, X81, thank you very much for the uh, for the super chats. I can't bring myself to be the one to mess up that dodo bar. It has ended up being quite nicely quite, quite nicely cultified uh, over there. Right, I mean, Rusky's... Oh, never mind. Uh, Lado Faure's staff has gone and changed it. Um, I mean, it's still 81.18. It's now just 81.48. In fact, actually... Lando didn't really mess it up very much. It added a three instead of a zero in there. Um, it could have been a lot worse. Uh, okay, Rusky's had an idea, and I mean, I mean, it's an idea. I think what's going to happen is it's going to fall apart. But it is definitely an idea. Uh, it might get stuck. It might get beached. The trucks definitely won't get beached. That is for sure. And they will have the right ground clearance. But the fear is they'll fall over. Uh, by the looks of it, Spiel is the only one not braving slicks, or it's not finished being upgraded. Uh, Danger Man, Sunburst, I mean, you know, the Sunburst, the Pazimas, the Cherriers, all fairly sensible. Uh, Amy is being a bit mad with a hopper. Could be fun. Could be quite good. Could fall over a lot. Brazen has just a lot of turbo. Uh, <laughs> and there we go. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> unit, thank you very much for the donation that has now managed to make it read 81 and 18 and point 18. Um, it's it's pretty well done, actually, the donation. But right, I think we are all ready. I think we are set. I'm going to do the last of the events. We will we will see. This first round is going to be absolute carnage. Um, everyone is ready. Here we go. Let's see what happens. I'm just hoping for a quick start here. If we can get a quick start and get out of the way, that would be wonderful. We do not have as quick a start as the hopper. The hopper has bounced. Oh, a lot of cars have flown about. Spieler has done quite well, but then hit very hard. Me and Lado, our rally cars are a little battered, but they have made it. I have a lot of turbo noise. Oh, Lado's broken steering. Okay, that was less than ideal. Um, hello, Amy. I was slowing down because the Lado got stuck. That was that was the way that happened. The hopper, I could just hear V8 noise. I have a lot of turbo noise. The hopper has a lot of V8 noise. Uh, oh, danger man, go! <laughs> the hopper is a little rocket ship accelerating. Um, I'm gonna oh, I'm gonna let it go. There's no actual point fighting at this stage. There's no point. Oh, something just went bang in my car. I don't know what. There was just a bang, and then my car went straight. So we broke some something snapped. I don't know if debris maybe went under somewhere and blew a tire. I'm not a hundred percent sure. 
What the hell? I've got a. Oh, God. Whatever is in Rusky's thing is making an absolutely awful noise. It's just exploded into sound. What the hell is that? What? I, I hope. I hope you are hearing this glitched out weird sound effect that I am. Um, is it my turbo? I think it's my... No, it's my tur My turbo's doing something. That's not how a turbo sounds. Dear God, game. That's not how a turbo sounds. <laughs> what is happening to my turbo? My turbo's broken. But <laughs> my turbo's eating a ray gun. Uh <laughs> it's robot farts. <laughs> Who put Carly in my turbo? <laughs> Okay, I've got turbo. I've got normal turbo sounds back. It just became sentient briefly. Um, well, I just had a sentient turbo for a little bit. Well, I'm very lucky. Whatever exploded in my car um, that caused issues, thankfully, we survived. The, t the turbo is one of the weirdest things I've ever come across, that sound. Um, I think I have a bit more than a boost leak. I think my turbo might have gained sentience for a little bit. Uh, it looks like Danger Man is going to come home and be the last car to qualify for the next round. The Sunburst will make it through. Well done, Danger Man. Impega's car is a wreck. Rusky, I mean, tried something. I think maybe the sound of the boot, the turbo blow off valve. Oh no, it is Rusky. What it is Rusky's laser gun turbo. Mine was just doing it as... Uh, there's some weird interactions going on here. Well, Rusky is... Out. However, the sound of that shall live on in infamy, I think. Uh... <laughs> What is that even supposed to be? I mean, it's stunning, whatever it is. But yeah, Rusky is eliminated. We got quite lucky there. I don't, I don't think my car's quite good, but I think... Um... Oh, God, careful. I think my car's quite good, but we had a bit of an iffy round. Amy's truck is insanely fast accelerating. The hopper, I'm a little worried about. I think it can... It might be a little bouncy. Impega might be a bit fully ovary. Uh, that, is the, that is the technical term I would have you know. Ah. Uh, we shall see what happens. We shall see what happens. Are we all ready? Why has my car got a damaged engine? Impega. I see what Impega's plan is here. Impega is going for the out launch. That's so brave. If that goes wrong for Impega. That is game over right there. Um, and it ha well, we've been kind. Me and Shadow didn't really start quick enough. Brazen has immediately fallen over. Uh, I have punched a tyre on Impega's car. Now, that's not a game over on this route. I can live with a punctured tyre. Um, oh, second gear was no good for my turbo. Yeah, we'll, we'll live with the punctured tyre. Oh, Danger Man doing some motorbike impressions. Uh, we will follow Lado through this bit. There's just a little chirpy Ooh. turbo going on. Actually, maybe the downside of the tyre is a bunch of tyre might not enjoy this bit. Well, I should have the ground clearance to get away with this. Uh, Shadow is right behind us. Uh, we are over. Someone just fell off to the left-hand side, uh, which is, yeah, not, not great for them. Uh, Lado is speeding across here. I will follow suit. Not actually the best line through there, but I'm not, like, at the moment, not crazy fast. As long as we make it and we're not last, I don't have to be perfect. Oh, I had to be better than that. Come on. What am I stuck on? Why am I car stuck? All right. 
We're going to have to go. We're going to have to boot it. I don't know what we were stuck on and why my car... My diffs are not great. Oh, that was really stupid. That was really stupid. I just mispositioned my car. Oh, almost fell over sending it so hard through there. All right, we are going to have to hope for a mistake from someone. Otherwise, we are going to be eliminated very early on here. Come on. That was such a poor mistake by me there. The Chise might have issues. Okay, oh no, other cars have fallen off. Okay, now we can just chill. Uh, like, as other cars have fallen off. It's not, like, you, you go from I've got to absolutely bomb it to try and catch up to actually, no, I don't anymore. I can just calmly do it. We've been let off the, if we make this and we make it through, we've been let off the hook massively. There was no real need for such a risk there. I don't quite know how I managed it. I just misaligned the front of the car. Um, I can't even blame the tyre. That was not... Like I, I just turned across a little too much. Um, so, yeah. That is unfortunate. But it comes down to Lado versus someone. I think it's Spieler, maybe, back there. Uh, oh, Spieler's having a tough time with the, the D-Series, I think it was, the Zeta. I think it's just falling over is the problem there. Oh, we have been let off the hook big time. You'll get away with things like that in these early rounds. Later on, though, that would be elimination. Can't afford... I'll, I'll make these mistakes now. Can't afford these later on. Uh, through the tyre bundle, whatever the hell they are. Oh, it's not Lado. It must be Amy. Oh, it must be Amy with the hopper that's having problems. I do apologise, Lado. Um, the hopper has made it. I mean, the hopper's quick, but I think the hopper's difficult to drive. The hopper is through. We are lucky. We are l so lucky. Spieler is eliminated. Unfortunate. Danger Man won. Hey, nicely done, Danger Man. Well done. Up at the front there. We were following Danger Man when we clonked the bloody wall. Uh, Impega's car seems to finish rounds in a ball of metal. But uh, there we go. Oh. Yeah, okay. We should... We should be quite good here. Uh, oh, in theory, we should be okay here. I don't know whether that's going to play out, but we will. Yeah, <laughs> no big heavy trucks for Spieler. Probably a good shout. Um, yeah. <laughs> Brazen is still going with the turbo whistle. Uh, Amy has the little truck. Oh, God. Yeah, the Mentos are a, are a very big concern. Well, I think they're a little bit less of a concern with these cars. All-wheel drive will save you a little bit. And most of the car, most people have realised the Mentos are a problem, so they have upped the ride height. Uh, potentially. We'll see whether that transpires into all of this. Let us get ready for the next round. Oh, I am in gear. Oh, I went on the wrong number. Brazen has had a lift and doesn't want to fight the Pazimas. Uh, that's fine. Yeah, not a great start for us as we head here. Lado is on the outside. Oh, there's a Pazima stuck in front of me. Uh, oh, Lado has sent it and pushed us off. Uh, well, it's a quick reset for us. Uh, Lado, the asshole. I mean, we know what we're going to do if we get the chance. Uh, it will be full murder on Lado. I, we've got to rely on someone getting stuck on the Mentos at this point. I mean, we can just drive the absolute crap out of this car. Um, oh, although it does it does roll. No one else has reset yet. Can, will everyone make it over the Mentos first time? I doubt it. But we've kind of got to drive as if they do. I say that. The Chise is the one car that is probably perfectly suited to this sort of stuff. Um, oh, that's fine. Brazen is stuck. Oh, the Mentos have claimed a Brazen. Uh, oh. oh. Didn't want to do that. I had a run-up and I just kind of had to go. Oh, no. No. Oh, and Amy's fallen off as well. I, I realised I'd misaligned that way too late. This is a really bad round. I'm not sure I like my car. I'm not sure uh, I've built the right one. I don't like... I don't like... I, I don't know if I wanted all the turbo engine. I don't think this was the way to go uh, on this one. I 
feel like I've always got a bit of lag kicking in. Uh, it's been a good race up here. We actually got a good race against the Hopper. Uh, <laughs> well, I mean, you tried to aerial overtake us. I, 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 there's, there's a limited amount of sympathy from me in that. I'm always going to come across that sort of line there. So I, like, I wasn't in trying to wipe Amy out there, uh, but it did have that effect. Uh, oh no, for God's sake. I was so good with the other car, I just can't seem to get this one right. I think we're out this time. Unless a big mistake happens, we really should have been aligned for that. I, I really should have taken my time and aligned it properly, because I think we're done for. Barring a miracle here. Miracles can happen on these courses. But, uh, I mean, Amy might struggle on the wall ride with the hopper. But I haven't tackled it yet with this, so who knows. Um, right, because we want to go quick over here. But we don't want to go too fast over here so we can actually try and line the car up. No. I think my car might actually... Oh, Amy's fallen off. Okay, well, I was about to give up. But we have got half a chance here. Uh, it's become the battle of the terrible, pretty much. Oh! The hopper has given us a push, which is, that was actually a fair pass, unlike Lado's. Um, oh, we might return the favour through the next corner. Uh, can we... Oh. So Amy wants to take that jump. I oh, don't know why I've got stuck there. Damn it. It has just become two, well, apparently terrible drivers uh, on here. Oh, well, I'm rear wheel drive now. Oh, wow, that was all it took. Oh. I'm just going, go, Pazima, go. <laughs> I don't quite know what's happening to my car, but uh, things are happening to my car. It's very weird. Um, we've become like a weird rear wheel drive at this point. Um, we might well have issues here. We might actually have issues climbing up the hills. Come on! Actually use some of that power. Uh, no. We are going to be eliminated, unfortunately. Somehow, as a rear-wheel drive, we have actually done better. Uh. <laughs> uh, we did better as a rear-wheel drive, Pazima, than we did as uh, a four-wheel drive one, apparently. That was terrible. Yeah, I did not really enjoy that car. I don't know why I had so many issues with the, um, with the Mentos. Should have just booted it, I guess. <laughs> Right, we're out. We're on to the next round. That's frustrating. I'm very annoyed with that one. <laughs> it's, it's how it goes. Um, yeah. Um, what can you do? Well, Lad well, I hope Lado gets eliminated. I know that Lado, in the end, Lado's push didn't really do very much, but we do hope Lado gets eliminated. Uh, next, Impegas. Impegas Chise looks kind of quick in places, but also wildly out of controls. Um, at times, it, it falls over so easily, I feel like that's going to be a problem for it along the way. Um, so yeah, we've got Brazen's big old diesel truck. We have uh, Amy's hopper of torque steer. Um, Impegas Chise. If it can ever end up the right way. Danger Man has Sunburst minus all the doors. Speed Beast with Speed Beast and Lado with the Cherry is still in. And Sorry. Shadow and Lado with the Cherry is still in and Speed Beast with the Pazima. Right. We are going to get everybody ready and see what happens on this one. It's a quick launch from the Chise. It's likely to be chaos coming down here. Um because you've got to, you know, there's only really maybe a couple of cars with. Everyone's done quite a good job sorting it out. Danger Man lost a little bit of time. Speed Beast moved across 
to uh, take Impega's line. No, oh dear. Speed Beast didn't want to do the doubles, and Impega is <laughs> going to... Oh, dear. <laughs> Impega's had a lato land on the roof, and Speed Beast is off. That's not so good. Uh, Brazen with a big lead up, up, up at the front, bouncing around in the trucks. Hopper might not be too bad on this course. A bit bouncy. The Chise is absolutely destroyed, but it is still going. The two chariots are close together. Danger Man recovered well, so Speed Beast has got some ground to make up. That is some brave choices from the leaders. Personally, wouldn't have done it when you have such a big lead, because uh, the chances of screwing it up are quite high. Amy has, I think, wrecked their steering, maybe. You may get away with it, though, between now and the finish line. The big turbo diesel truck is doing well here. Uh, no one else has fallen off. Uh, everything else is going fairly smoothly. Lado has lost out a little bit to Danger Man. Shadow with a bit of a wonky turning. Brazen takes victory. Amy is across the line in second. Looks like Impega, despite getting a car landing on the roof, which was mighty impressive, uh, almost fell over. That would have been disastrous. But Impega is across the line in third. Shadow is through to the next round. And it looks like, as long as Lado and Danger Man don't do anything silly, it looks like... It will be Lado across the line, and then it will be a Danger Man. Speed Beast tried to take the narrow platform, the narrow route, but it did not quite work. The other Pazima is eliminated. Oh, both Pazimas out in a row. There we go. Quite a clean round, that one, I have got to say. Rare, but... Um there we go. Uh, Petra, thank you for the super chat. I uh, saying Caterham are going to be doing some EVs uh, with an EV7 and a new EV sports car. Uh, kind of makes sense. It might be a bit heavy for a Caterham, but I guess it could work. Uh, and a new firm, Ara? I don't, know if I, I don't know how to pronounce that. Are coming for the Taycan, and it looks rather good. I mean, I've always liked the Taycan. Uh, far too expensive, but I, have, I do like the Taycan. Um, so, yeah, for, I mean... Been, I'd, I've never heard of that one, but uh, yeah, be interesting to see if it ever, ever actually materialises. There's a lot of companies supposedly making EVs, and uh, a lot of them never turn up, but we shall see. All right, everyone is ready. Let's get the vehicles underway. Here we go. It's a good start from Amy with that hopper. We know that's quick, but we know it has issues. It has handling problems. Danger Man, big roll in the tube, has maybe caused Impega and Brazen issues? Doesn't look like it too much. Uh, Amy leads the way across the floating discs. Uh, oh, Amy's being very brave. That is one way to get yourself eliminated early on. If you beans this up... Oh, it is a cross. It is a cross. Now, whether that steering damage is legit, um, we will wait and see. But it has made it uh, so far. Um... Oh, the EV7 is only 700 kilos. That's quite light for an electric car. That'd be cool, actually. That 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 weight, that works really well. Uh, <laughs> um, Amy is having a wonderful round here with that hopper. Lado is up in second, being followed by the diesel, the diesel turbo truck. Uh, Shadow's in trouble, fell off the rollers, uh, and will be stuck. No, Shadow's recovered. Fair play. Shadow has recovered that one, but will have lost a lot of time. Amy is on to the wavy road. Now, Brazen and Lado have got to not get caught up racing. It's very easy to do. Very easy to do to get caught up racing. Uh, Amy's got to not have an accident there. I saw the lock up, the tyre smoke. The hopper is through. The hopper will win. It's side by side for Lado and Brazen. The, the chances of one of them having a crash because they're too busy trying to beat each other is quite high through here. Uh, yep. Oh, <laughs> nicely done. Brazen gets second. Lado will claim a third. I thought one was about to hit the giant posts, but they got away with it. Fair play. I would not have gone that fast at that point. Oh, Danger Man saves it. Wheel hanging over the edge, but Danger Man survives so close to a disaster right there. Nicely done. Danger Man will take the position. Impega has absolutely launched it to try and beat Shadow. Ah, oh, <laughs> Shadow's going to do it, though. Shadow will cross the line and take the next one. Impega, I mean, maximum effort. Maximum effort. Credit where it is due. Credit where it is due. 
at, tried. If it had bounced and somehow landed on its wheels, it could have worked. It didn't, but it could have done. So, <laughs> there we go. The Hopper with a mighty impressive run. That was uh, one hell of a run for the Hopper. Ah. Oh. But, yeah, unfortunately, the little Chizé is out. Impega put on a great show with that wacky little contraption. Did not look easy to drive, but it uh, it made it further than me. It did make it further than me. Ah. Right. We have got a bit of an argument, apparently, going on here between a hopper and a sunburst. Brazen with the ideal line. That's kind of the line you want, really, uh, into this race. Uh, there's going to be... There's a lot of cars aiming in a wacky direction. It's going to be an interesting one, I think. I'm going to start it as Lado has all the doors open. So Lado's stuck driving with doors open. Uh, <laughs> I don't actually know if that's synced or not. Danger Man, a little bit of a sluggish getaway. Uh, although that's not necessarily a bad thing down here. It is truck versus truck up at the front. Brazen is going to lead the way into the hairpin. Shadow in third. I mean, they're all actually pretty close. Brazen a little bit wide, although he's got a big amount of acceleration as the inside for the next corner. Amy is going the long way around and has got the acceleration to make it work here. Uh, ends up out a little bit wide. Shadow's being helped by the Chariot. Uh, the trucks are having a fight. Brazen has recovered it. Shadow's back was on the course. Uh, <laughs> Amy has now got to the lead and pulled a little bit of a gap uh, through all of this as we head through the very slow slalom. Um, now, got to get a little bit of speed. Got to get a little bit of speed up towards the Mentos. Brazen is across. Lado is across. Uh, further back, Danger Man is clear. Shadow is clear. Uh, we head up. Brazen is not clear. Brazen is not clear. Lado is not clear. They're both gone. Team Yellow is going to have to reset. It's going to be a battle between those two. Danger Man, not confident with the speed. He's gone for a run-up. Shadow is going to nicely make it through the pipes. Amy is going to win, barring a massive weird event. Now, this is kind of the race we've got to witness. Team Yellow uh, beating the crap out of each other because... Oh! <laughs> Lado... I would be wary of doing that against a D-Series, uh, although it has worked for the moment. It has worked. So the others have all pretty much made it. Amy has made it. Shadow's made it. Danger Man's car is steaming, but barring a very silly error, Danger Man will make it through. It's now a case of can Brazen catch Lado? Oh, Lado hit the Mentos! If uh, <laughs> if the Mentos didn't do the damage, Brazen did! Oh no, Brazen! They're both gone! They're both off! It's back to the Battle of the Bads again. It was me and Amy previously. Now it's Brazen and Lado. Team Yellow are just full-on at war. At least, like, mine and Amy's battle was vaguely clean. This one <laughs> is anything but. Uh, Lado has been... Oh, it's karma again! <laughs> Lado is over. Oh, because all of these cars are on such high... Oh, Brazen, no, don't do it. Oh, Brazen, don't. Come on now. Because <laughs> these cars are so high. They've got to be for some of the obstacles, but they're so high on slick tyres. They grip roll like crazy, so it really doesn't take much to have them fall over. Uh, okay, come on, Brazen. You can do this. You can do this. Just get past the Mentos. That's all you've got to do here is make it past the Mentos. And it is neatly done. Oh, that's a bit dicey. The truck will probably have the ride height to survive it. And it does. We'll ride these with the slick tyres and more power. These should be okay over the wall ride. And the truck is clear. As long as it doesn't get beached or have a very silly accident. I'm sure Lado is sending it, and Lado is actually making some good time here, all things considered. Although it might have just lost a front wheel. Oh, yeah. Lado was making some good time, but it's gone for a big... It wasn't going to be enough regardless. It is going to be... Well, Lado cheated. Uh, it will be Brazen that is through. Lado is eliminated. Good try. Great, great battle for Team Yellow right there. Uh, some untoward tactics were, were had, and some karma was dished out. Lado is eliminated. 
we move on to, I believe, four vehicles. Amy with the Hopper, Brazen with the D-Series, Shadow with a Chariot, and Danger Man with a Sunburst. The Hopper is looking fast. The Hopper's looking fast, but we've seen it's had issues. So if it goes right for the Hopper, it's very, very quick. When it goes wrong, well, it falls over. Pretty much, I think, is the best way to sum it up. So it's going to be an interesting one to see what we can, what might transpire in all of this. Um, <laughs> uh, yes, they did, Lado. Uh, unfortunately, Lado is out. Audience, place your bets. Who's going to get eliminated next? I, I genuinely don't know here. We've, we've seen different vehicles struggle at different times. So I don't know what we're going to see. On this one. Last last run through this course. The Hopper. Amy's Hopper and Brazen's truck were very quick. So it might be between Danger Man and Shadow. But all it takes is one roll to completely change that for one of the big trucks. Um, I think the trucks may have a little bit more speed in places. But they are going to be less composed. All it takes is an awkward bounce. And yeah, they're in trouble. Oh, Danger Man and Shadow are both... Oh, Shadow's in a bit of trouble. Neither of them are taking the big jumps through there, particularly. Will Brazen and Amy push themselves into oblivion like that? So they're racing they're, they're racing each other too hard for the victory. And that was that's one of the downsides. That's one of the things that you can end up doing. That was a an unfortunate error for Brazen. Is Amy going to risk the narrow yeah. The hopper is braving it. I mean it's on the platform quite nicely. It is a cross. So Danger Man and Shadow, I mean, all they've got to do is play it safe. Brazen's truck will be quick, but... Oh, no! Oh, no, I thought Amy had fallen off. Never mind, Amy, they're going down the hill. I didn't see the car, I just saw the nameplate at the bottom, and I presumed it had fallen off. The hopper is fine, don't worry. All oh, the two cars have had an accident. They were so close, through. they're a little bit too close through the donut. Amy is going to make it through. Amy wins, the hopper is through. Uh, Brazen, oh, has, I mean, was pushing it like crazy. It's had an accident coming off of the narrow section, but it doesn't think it would matter either way. It's going, well, unless there is a bump between these two, there is not. Danger Man and Shadow will progress. Brazen got caught up trying to race the hopper in a race where didn't really need to. Um, easy mistake to make, really easy mistake to make on that one. Unfortunate for Brazen, the diesel truck had been putting on a great show, but the big old turbo diesel is eliminated. Three vehicles remain. The hopper is going to be a tough one to beat, but I was expecting it to be one of the cars that went out in the previous round, so you never know. You just, you just never know. Um, all it takes is the hopper to fall over, and yeah. Right, they are ready. Danger Man is pointing probably not the way you want to. You probably want to aim for the hopper rather than for the other car. Because, um, yeah, you, if you're going to clonk something, and the hopper's going to launch better, um, so you're better to follow it uh, if you're not going to outbeat it. Yeah, the hopper is the big threat in this if everything goes well. As we leave the tunnel, it is nicely done. Shadow, I think, may have fallen over in the tunnel. Hopper's just mighty fast in a straight line down here. Um, we're on to the tippy turny platforms uh, through all of this. I mean, the sunburst is, is not too far back. Uh, all it takes is one... I mean, at the end of the day, we were in a battle of the bad with Amy in, like, the third round. If I'd actually driven half decently, we could have eliminated the hopper very early on, and that's just the way it goes sometimes in this. Um, Shadow has got some ground to make up or is hoping for a mistake from something. The hopper is up the top quite nicely. It is... Oh, Danger Man and Shadow are on the same platform. Oh, I thought Danger Man was going into the uh, into the centre part. They did not. Uh, Amy got a big oversteer moment but probably didn't want uh, as we're down the ramp. Don't get too much air time. Don't really need to risk it with that hopper. You can just kind of cruise through here. That's probably a little bit faster than it would have wanted, but the hopper is through and victorious. 
Danger Man is on the platform. Shadow... I'm actually surprised Shadow is not sending it down here because you've got to do something at this point. Otherwise, Danger Man will get through. I guess Shadow was hoping for Danger Man to crash and trying to not crash themselves, but... Danger Man is through. Into the final. Shadow is eliminated. Good effort. Great effort from Shadow, but the Cherrier is out. So... Two vehicles remain. It's Hopper versus Sunburst. And this is the track the Hopper had problems on. This is this is the track the Hopper has had problems on. However, after that, it looks mighty fast. Now, I'm not going to say it's impossible to beat. Because, well, as we saw, it, <laughs> uh, we almost knocked it out at one point. However, after that, Amy has seemed to figure out how to get the speed out of that out of that vehicle. How is I mean okay? How is Danger Man going to win this? The Hopper outlaunches that Sunburst. The main thing the Sunburst might outturn the Hopper in a couple of places. You've got to hope for a, a mistake would be helpful. Um, but yeah, you're going to have to try and make up time in the corners. The Hopper will fall over through heavy cornering. Danger Man not really on the line you want through there, um, particularly. However is uh, off and underway now. You see that Hopper struggles a little bit here. This is just a bit where you could maybe make some ground on that, especially if it's looking like it's going to fall over. But a lot of cars have been going up onto two wheels. We saw Lado grip rolled. I was grip rolling, actually, in the Pazima as well. So it can happen. Uh, through the jumps we go, the Hopper is nicely enough over them. Uh, Danger Man. I actually take that route. Danger Man does tend to go for that one, but... Uh, yeah, well, the Sunburst is also bunny hopping and wanting to grip roll. So, probably the toughest obstacle on the course. Oh! The Hopper is in a spot of bother, but it's made it. Uh, I'm not sure what... Someone... Uh, Amy has lost a tyre. Danger Man is sending it! Oh! Has got away if that hasn't completely broken the car. I think it's cost too much time. I think the Sunburst had to do it. Ooh! If that lands on its wheels, Amy is the luckiest, luckiest person. That is so... I mean, Danger Man has reset anyway. <laughs> you are so lucky. The, the hopper was very low on the wall ride. And, yeah, it took a very big hit. That was so lucky to have landed on the wheels and still be drivable. That is so lucky, but sometimes, sometimes you ride the luck. Amy will take a victory. Danger Man, good run, good try, got close. Got close on the run up the up the hill. Yeah, tried to send it across the Mentos to make up time. It almost worked, but yeah, just clipped one and pinged off. Um, and there we go. The Hopper is victorious. Amy wins the second round of this Oh, there we have it. Yeah, great. It was a good. It was a good fun, good fun tournament. That is a great crash for Danger Man. But second place for the Sunburst did a hell of a lot better than uh, than me. That is for sure. So yeah, there is the Victor's vehicle submerged underwater. Right. Oh, didn't want to be teleported into that one. Okay. Uh, we are going to go for, we will have time for one more round. We are going, I'm going to, this one here is going to be tough, I think. Uh, so we're going to have the power upped a little bit, 0.35. We're going to be slick tired, but it's going to be rear wheel drive only. Now, I don't know what we're going to see from this. Uh... I don't know what I'm going to bring for this, to be honest. Um, yeah, hmm. While I have a ponder, some donations to read. Apologies. I have to tend to go around and read these at the end. Uh, Noodle Brain, thank you very much for the donation. Saying, as someone doing a work placement as a software developer, I'm suddenly curious as to how a website in a video game would be implemented. I have no idea. <laughs> I have absolutely no idea, but it is a curious thing, isn't it? Um... 
yeah, God, I have absolutely no idea how it would work. But yeah, um, I am. I I would be curious about that one actually. Uh, does this have it's all wheel drive? Does this have a rear wheel drive version? I don't think I want overhangs. I feel like overhangs are bad. I feel like overhangs are very bad. Um, could have a look. No, that's overhang central, isn't it? Uh, ooh, this again overhangy. We don't really want overhangs on the car. None of the vehicles. That is not actually in the game. But you know what doesn't have a lot of overhangs? I don't know if the rally version is rear wheel drive or not. But I mean we could, to be fair, just get the Mr. Turbo. And that is rear wheel drive and then put it on rally suspension. I'm not driving a pigeon. Rusky might, but I'm not driving a pigeon because I will be eliminated immediately. Uh, we're also, oh, I was going to say, we're also not going to start on this first course because, so we're going to start, uh, like, reverse order. So we're going to start over where Amy is. So we're going to try and bring some variety um, to this. We are going to um, cycle around in a different way. Um we're going to cycle around in different ways just so we have different routes for the final. Um, satisfied shop customer, thank you very much for the donation. Saying love the t-shirt. Uh, fair enough. Make it, making, up, uh, making up the logo would highly... Would, making up the logo would highly recommend impressive... Right, okay. Sorry, there's some commas in there that, I haven't, that aren't there. Um, oh yeah, love, so love the t-shirt. Would highly recommend. Impressive delivery time. <laughs> go by now. This is not a paid advertisement. Uh, <laughs> no. Um, yeah, do go buy some merch. Keep Lado busy. Distract Lado so Lado can't crash into us in, in the race. Always a good idea. Chris, thank you very much for the donation. Uh, Saying so in the late 80s and 90s, uh, Jaguar etched the reg plate into the light cluster of all their XJ models to prevent them being stolen. That's actually quite a good idea. Um, that is not a terrible idea in, in terms of identifying cars. I guess we've got VIN numbers as well, but yeah, that's not a terrible... I know the light clusters get... Maybe they should have etched it somewhere that doesn't get swapped out occasionally. Um, I've had to have new clusters in the... Uh, one of the rear sides of the... R one of the brake lights, the RS6. I don't know whether they are front or rear clusters. Oh, Amy's got an idea. It's actually not the worst idea in the world, but uh, it might be fully ovary. That we will have to wait and see. Um, uh, Drake, thank you for the donation. Say another joke. Uh, this one will. Will this one be boo worthy or a laugh? You decide. Uh, Lado once heard that Carly was looking for something that goes from 0 to 150 in less than three seconds. So he recommended to Alex Whoa. to get some bathroom scales. <laughs> That's definitely going to be a boo. Um, and it's definitely going to be a boot right there. Uh, P.S. 1P Cult is back. Well, it was. It's not anymore. That's long gone. Um, Noru Brain, thank you very much for the donation. Saying, Alex, calling a race car where a car landed on the roof of another car quite clean. I mean, it was quite clean considering, you know, what normally goes on in Beam. Let's, let's, let's be real. I've got for, I've gone for another really turbo laggy car, haven't I? Evolution turbocharger. Sure. Actually, not as much turbo as I wanted. We might have to have variable boost. Uh, right, rally front coilovers. We're going rally again. I might not raise it this much. Um, yeah, we might have to. Oh, can I for the lug? Do these get slicks? They do. 285. These are going to be some big tired. Mr. Turbo. In fact, Impega looks like they have gone for a fairly similar idea, which is... Uh, I mean, I'm probably not going to be the only one. I'm probably not going to be the only one. Big tires may not necessarily be the best. Uh, ooh, I probably want... I'm going to go rally steering. I'm hoping it's going to be stronger. That's that's the reason I'm trying to try not... I don't want to break my steering, basically. Um, right, can we get a race exhaust? So I need a bit more power. Actually, I need a lot more power. 
Uh, performance, stage 2 performance long block, because it's 0.35. So we're getting closer. I guess variable boost turbo and then just whack the boost up is going to be the way to go here. It might blow my engine up. Yoink. Can you take 35 bar of boost? I'm going to hazard a guess of maybe not. Oh, that's way too much. Okay. <laughs> now we're at point 0.5. Didn't want that. Let's just drop you down. Still a little bit too much. Um, maybe... 16? Sorry, it's not bar, it's in PSI. I, I forgot. Uh, 16 is getting closer. 17 PSI. Uh, I don't know how much. Okay, there we go. That's fine. We'll just go 18. That should be done. If it's a little bit under, I can just drop weight. Oh, look at that. Absolutely perfect. Absolutely perfect. Uh, I am going to maybe upgrade the... Bra uh, I'm going to definitely ultra-high performance radiator the crap out of it. Um, so that is a good idea. And we are going to want some... I don't know. I don't think I want that. The reason being... Uh, race front discs. Uh, the reason being is sometimes ABS, especially if your car's a little bit damaged, ABS can kind of freak out and just stop your car from braking. And the last thing I want is to be going into an important braking zone, have the ABS freak out. And, yeah, issues. Um, I'm going to... I'm not going to do any mod brakes just in case there's a problem. Um, and for some of those OP ones we wouldn't be allowed. But... I think this is a good shout, right? I don't know whether it's going to work or not, but... Uh, yeah, we will see. Actually, no, don't put the, don't put the livery on, because last time we had a livery car, it did not go well. We are going for the superstition. And <laughs> right. Uh, does this... Bring out, oh, there we go, look at that. A proper, a proper Mr. Turbo right here. Uh, Zav, some of the tracks can be run backwards. The first track is the one that works the best backwards. So we might have a there and back again for a finale uh, on this one. Oh god, the turbo lag. Right. Oh god. Uh, so yeah, the problem I've got is... I don't want to over -talk my engine. Uh, we might have to go... Actually, yeah, that's an idea. So this won't give us as much performance, but... It's dropped my power down. Doesn't matter. I can just whack up the turbo. So this engine should now take whatever abuse we can throw at it. Um, that's a little bit too much. Okay, Lado has had an idea. I think it's the same idea that Amy had. Uh, so, the rules were we are allowed slicks, right? You don't have to run slicks. You can run whatever tyres you want. I think a few people may have gone for some alternate plans. I am a little bit worried about my turbo lag. Um, the car is low, but it's very short wheelbase and very small overhangs. That's what I'm hoping is going to kind of work in my favour. Uh, we don't have the ground clearance of the big buggies, but we will way out handle them. That's the hope. Um, my turbo lag might be the undoing with the Mr. Turbo here. Or my game crashing might also be the undoing of the Mr. Turbo game. Uh, well, bear with. Weirdly, on OBS, it's showing Lado is in a bastion. Oh, no, no, nope, here we go. It's catching up. It's catching up. Dear God, what on earth is Amy driving? Oh, Lado has the noisy bastion! <laughs> oh, amazing. Um, 
I'm updating again and things are weird. Right. Seeing as I haven't actually tested my car. I don't know how to launch this. Maybe give it a race clutch? I might have to give it a race clutch if it's going to clomp the gears. 1%'s not bad, but I'm going to have to rev the crap out of it uh, to, in theory, oh god, frame rate, frame rate, frame rate. Uh, okay, we're very, very good at these tight twisty sections. Amy's buggy thing will probably be quite good as well. Because uh, a very, very short wheelbase. Yeah, if I make a mistake somewhere... Um, oh. I think... Oh. Amy's car has eaten my front bumper. Uh, the noisy bastion has turned up. Amy, you see the issue with Amy's car? Is that it's probably... We should be really good through here. And we are. Uh, yeah, so that's where my vehicle will be good. Is going to be going through those kind of twisty sections. Uh, right. Oh, did not line that up very well. But never mind. This one here is. So we've got the right height for this. Which is important. Yeah. Mr. Turbo can definitely do that. Um, we might have bent the steering a little bit. I actually think I prefer, prefer this to the Pazima, to be honest with you. Uh, I'm just checking that we've got the ground clearance to. Uh, actually do all of this. Yeah, we are quite low, but... Uh, yeah, we, we can make it over there. We can make it over where Brazen got stuck in the Grand Marshal, or the Grand Marshal has got continuously stuck, so... Yeah. Okay, we're fine. We can make it. <laughs> oh, God. Um, stealing Speed Beast away. Right, I'm just going to reset my small point. Oh, God, brazen. No, no. The glambulance is here. <laughs> oh, dearie me. Uh, I'm going to put a rally. I'm going to see if I have a, like, a rally clutch or something, just so I can try and launch. Do I not get a clutch? Okay. Five speed. Race five speed, I'm going to guess. Now let's put the race five speed in it. The glambulance is here. I say never fear. I fear a lot. We should all fear the glambulance, if I'm honest. Uh, right. If I mash it into launch. No, it still doesn't like doing it. I wonder why. I, I, maybe. Oh, I've actually broke the front wheel doing that. Maybe I'll try the sequential box. Uh, just because I don't want the gears... And not that I doubt the clutch is going to do much. Like, 3% doesn't matter too much. But... Yeah, that's better. That hooks up and launches how I want it to. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, the car is not... I don't think it's supposed to be Mr. Turbo. Maybe it was part of the fun with it. It's supposed to be MR Turbo. I guess mid-engined rear-wheel drive turbo, but it is actually Mr. Turbo. Um, that's just how it works. Right. We will hopefully get cars ready to go. I'm happy with mine. Mine works. I'm actually very happy with this car, which means I'm probably going to screw it up. Almost a guarantee I'm going to screw it up. Uh, I can't leave it in first and boot it because I need to actually have some boost. We need anti-lag. <laughs> I need to force an anti-lag, because otherwise I'm just not going to go anywhere. I have a, li a 1.5-litre engine that's all turbo and not much actual engine. I got 23 PSI boost, which I don't know how much that compares to normal cars, but it feels like quite a lot. And when it hooks up, my car is only 1,000 kilos. It's pretty damn light. So, yeah, um, it's pretty good. I'm happy with this car. I'm happy with this car. Um... Uh. Right. Uh, oh, my power to weight ratio is too high. Why has that gone up? You are well spotted. I guess the gearboxes were lighter? Uh, I can fix this. Hold on. Uh, rear strut brace. That'll add some weight. Uh, not much. Front strut brace. And then probably a roll cage might do the job. 
Come on. Wow, the roll cage was really heavy. Where's it gone? Uh. Okay, I can. Oh wait, I can get the weight back out of it again. Uh, because I can just dump most of the fuel out of it. Because we don't need to be running with a full tank of fuel. We can dump even more fuel out of it. You know, these are very quick runs, so yeah, more fuel can be jettisoned from the vehicle. Uh, and even more can go out. <laughs> it would be very, very funny to run out of fuel on one of these runs, but I doubt that's going to happen. Uh, right. 2.5 and 3.5. And the is it's fiddly. Five litres of fuel will definitely get us down here. Right, fine. We're going. We're going. We're going. We're going risky. No, nah, we're not going risky. We'll we'll never have a problem making it to the end. Um, three point five. There we go. Perfect. I am actually going because this has been a little bit of a faff. Um, I'm going to just save the config in case the game crashes, just so I can quickly reload the car. Uh, right. Here we go. Brusky, I mean, Brusky has been eliminated first twice, I think, and is continuing to go for really brave strategies. I like, I applaud the the effort. I think Brusky has a bit has got one of the weaker computers and is probably going for the fun car, knowing that the computer is going to make it difficult. Not impossible, but difficult. Um, uh, also, A Rod, apologies, I missed your donation. Uh, thank you for listening. Saying, do you plan on doing a stream with the Lego mod you recently showcased? Whether it ends up in a stream or a multiplayer filming session, not sure, but I, if we can get it working and all behaving, I'm sure we will see something with that. Um, so, yeah, keep an eye out. We will definitely be trying to do something with that because it's really cool. Um, okay, we are going to be almost ready. Shadow has a similar idea to me. Um, oh, Speeder is just reconnecting. Um, Shadow, yeah, very similar idea to me with the Mr. Turbo. Slightly different specs, but there we go. Lado has a noisy bastion. Normally the route I go, but I've gone for something different. I wanted small, short wheelbase, little overhangs. May fall over the, the coverts, but the bastion won't. Speed Beast has essentially a Dakar truck <laughs> kind of thing. Um, Amy has a picker, well, was a Piccolina once upon a time. It's not much of it left over there. And Pega's just got a rally car. Pega's looks a lot more suited than uh, mine and Shadow's. But there we go. Rusky has a trophy truck on tiny little slick wheels. Uh, which is probably going to fall over. And Brazen has the Glambulance. If that somehow makes it through the first round, I'll be impressed. But you, between Rusky and Speed Beast, the trucks are going to cause absolute chaos. Danger Man has an SBR4. Probably not a bad shout. Maybe a little... I say maybe a little bit low. Uh, there isn't a. Is there, there might be a rally spec actually. You might get some rally suspension on that. So it might not be the worst thing in the world for this. And plus, you don't need crazy ride height um, for this one. You don't need to have insane ride height to get over most of the obstacles. But a bit of ride height is certainly going to help. Uh, through all of this. Uh, I'll just have a look through the vehicles. Brazen is actually running slightly low on power, but has also got 800 horsepower. You don't want more than that. Um, Speed Beast has 700 in the truck. Uh, the Bastion is at 700 to be expected. Um, Amy's at 400 with a Piccolina. That's so much power in that. Um, Shadow's a little bit under as well, actually, with that. But it's not necessarily a bad thing. Uh, Peg's a little bit over. Peg has one of the weaker computers, so we allow them to go a little bit more. It's not over oh, very much. That's got a thousand horsepower. This is just dangerous at this point. Uh, <laughs> uh, I feel like the coverts are quite sensible. The Piccolina is, is going to be one of those... I think the Piccolina is going to be a bit like the... Um, uh, what's it called? The... 
hopper. If uh, if Obi gets the hang of it, it could be very fast. Uh, we are now ready. Okay. Here we go. Let mayhem commence. Dear God, this is going to be mayhem. Uh, there is no two ways about it. Here we go. Uh, we are off and we are underway and I'm immediately going to go for a let's just not fall off approach. Uh, my car is, of course, clearly much faster through here, uh, but I should maybe have tried to get ahead of the Glambulance, to be honest with you, because I don't want to get stuck behind it here. Um, never mind, the Glambulance has got itself into trouble. Yeah, I didn't want to get involved with the fight. My car is very fast, but the gearing is going to be a problem. I say gearing, no, the turbos, because it's, it's all turbo. Uh, Speeler's in that uh, chariot in the middle of the pack. Oh dear. Um, uh, right. Oh no. Well, that has worked. Oh god, I've got an ambulance climbing over me. Uh, I went for a gap and it didn't quite climb it through the gap as I expected, but it has worked. Uh, it has it has worked. What has got on here? Oh, Amy's rolled and got in trouble. Spieler's broken down. Uh, it has been madness. I think Spieler's got steering damage. Um, oh, I was waiting for the chariot to get out of the way. Sorry, Amy wasn't intentionally brake checking at that point. Oh, no. Uh, well, amazingly, I am okay, but everyone behind me is, is not. Well, we made a big accident. My car doesn't really steer straight anymore, but we are over the Mentos. And the next one. Oh, God, that's not a time to have a little bit of lag. Okay, we don't, we have steering issues, which is going to make this quite difficult. Oh, it did make it difficult. I think everyone in front has fallen off. What the hell is this? It's battered. It's, it's stalled. Um, that's okay. My suspension might be a little bit collapsed as well. Oh, something's very unhappy in this. Uh, what is unhappy in this? Oh, no. Okay, well, if you want to push me up, that's also fine. No. Okay, so I've got, I've got some damage. I don't know where and I don't know what. Some damage has gone on in my vehicle that means I cannot clear these like I should be able to. Uh, so my plan is a little bit of a weird one. Oh, for God's sake. What has gone on with my car? Okay, well, that works. Thanks, Impega. At this point, if I can just get over here, uh, I am mostly happy. Yeah, we're not going to win this round, but it, I don't know what happened with my car. I think something on the underside must have broke. That's quite lucky. That's quite lucky. We got pushed. We were helped in the end. The covets all help each other. Thank you. We're, we're doing a, a, a thank you bump at the end. Um, uh, we're okay. We had to go in reverse. We had to fart around a bit, but we have made it. Lado makes it across with the Bastion. Uh, Spieler is, is making it at the moment. So who is in trouble? Amy's clearing the Mentos. Rusky and Brazen, the ones we kind of expected, to be fair, are having troubles. The Piccolina of Weirdness has made the Mentos, at least. Uh, Sp Spieler is heading through this weird kind of donut pattern. Uh, that's fine. Uh, that will be across the line. Uh, Amy is making it up. Well, Amy's in trouble. See, my suspension was perfectly fine through the test. Obviously, something got broken in the race that did it. That's... Yeah, it's on rally suspension as well. I put the rally parts in it, so yeah, it's it's got it's got rally parts. Um, just something got broken, basically. I don't know what, but yeah, something broke in that. We saw the Grand Marshals have issues, uh, so it is now the the understeering trophy truck and the glambulance that are left. The Baja Piccolina is going to cross the finish line. That will make it. Amy is through and safe. Brazen is not. Brazen is stuck. The Glambulance is having a bad time. 
Oh, and, oh no, Ruskin has a reset. Can either of these clear the Mentos? That's the problem. Uh, they, they should. The Glambulance is going to have the real issue on the um, wall ride. Oh, Rusky. You need a bit more momentum than that. You, yeah. You, you're going to have to slow it down and line it up. You can't hit it with no momentum lined up because you won't have the grip to do it. These are rear wheel drive. They're all rear wheel drive. Uh, these two are very silly. We've got another battle of the bad. And I mean, it's the real battle of the bad. Um, yeah. <laughs> the two, they were the silliest vehicles going into this. It's the question of who can make their silly vehicle work through the course. Um, the Mentos part is pr mm, probably the toughest part. The Glambulance, I'd be worried about the wall rides just because it's gonna, so top heavy. Um, I mean, they're being very polite. Um, at the moment, you know, which is always good. Uh, we are probably going to be here a while. They both get stuck at the Mentos again. It'll be funny, but... Oh, brace <laughs> You're going to wish the camera wasn't right behind you while you did that one. But uh, there we go. The truck is across the first Mentos. And it is not across the second. Nope. Brazen... Oh, you're very brave. I would have backed up and, and realigned that. Rusky's so close to making it, but doesn't. He's stuck. Brazen is through the Mento section. Will the Glambulance be okay? It's got a lot of speed, so that could help it if it can slow down for leaving the wall ride. Oh, which it does. It was a clonk. But the Glambulance has made it. Can it make this corner? That is the real question. It's going to have to be a three-point turn. And up we go. It has. It is across. And it is across. And. There we go. That will be. Well, unless anything very bad happens, which would be funny. However, there's no one at the top. Everyone has fallen off. However, Brazen, with all the noise in the world, is through. Rusky unfortunately, is eliminated in the battle of the bad. The Mr. Turbo cover, I'm impressed with it. Just mostly. It was quick up until the bit where it wasn't. Up until the bit where we got a little stuck. Uh, well, we can slot in here. Ow! Oh, I was trying to be sneaky and hide from the... I could hear the incoming buggy and I was trying to get behind the wall but uh, I was not quite ready not quite ready for that um, right oh god hello glambulance I don't really want that behind me but it looks like we are going to be stuck with that behind us Ugh. okay if the glambulance manages to win the whole thing that would be the biggest surprise in a fail race video ever just, just ever. If the Glambulance makes it into, like, the top six, it would be surprising, all things considered. Um, but, yeah, okay. We've got everybody. I mean, it's a weird grid, although, honestly, it's probably not a bad idea to be further back here because the, the, the madcap dash into the tubes is sketchy. Um, I think we're already... I can't decide whether I need to sneeze or not. I think we might... We're going to we're gonna go. We're going to go. We've got everyone ready. Uh, here we go. Launch the covert. Well, you know what? They've got rear engines. They have better traction than me. I don't mind. Danger Man has fallen over immediately. The Glambulance probably won't care about pushing a car out of the way, to be fair. It's big and it's heavy. The, uh, we are following the Noisy Bastion, the best car in the game. Uh, my car is a little awkward. Lado's being very brave with an E. Oh, God. I have got that corner wrong. Uh, see, the Glambulance is probably better here than some of the other routes it could go on. Uh, oh, God. And you've got... So the downside I have is quite a low nose, which isn't so good for some of these, where the Glambulance does not have that issue. Uh... Can't we? Oh, although it's very heavy, and I just hear 
the whistling engine. Lado's overcooked it in that section. So yeah, Lado got themselves in a bit of trouble. Uh, we are lined up quite well. We were lined up quite well, and then I sort of freaked out and steered myself in a weird way. Uh, I think that was Shadow going in odd direction, but never mind. No, it's all worked out quite well. Uh, as we head up the loop, we have found we're following Danger Man. I mean, there's, again, aside from the competitive of I always want to beat the cars around me, there's actually no reason to be too stupid. Speed is going to win this round. Uh, Danger Man carried a lot of speed on the way down. Uh, oh, God. I've bent my steering a little bit, which is... A concern for future. Oh, yeah. Concern for now as well. Just make sure we make it cleanly. We do. It will be across the line for third. The Piccolina of much noise. Well, we're going swimming again. Piccolina of much noise is there. Shadow's made it. Speed Beast will make it as well. So, who is in trouble? Brazen. Funny that. The <laughs> Glambulance is in trouble, although Lado's had a bit of a bad time here as well. Um, yeah, Lado is having issues with the Bastions. I think the, it's the wheelbase. Perhaps the length of the Bastion is causing that one some grief. Amy having a flat tyre, yeah, is going to be a problem. No doubt about that. Uh, Impega was fighting up towards the front. Don't quite know how happened. Oh, Lado's fallen off. Brazen can't get through the rollers with the Glambulance. That is having issues. Um, there is Impega. Heading on to the uh, the ribbon, so to speak. I can't think of a better name. Uh, right. Impega, barring a massive accident, will be making it through. And I doubt Impega, with such a big gap back, is going to do anything risky. Lado's having problems with the Bastion. As much as I love the car, it does seem to be having issues here. I don't. Maybe it's too bigger overhangs. Too longer a wheelbase. There is something wrong. I say something struggling with the Bastion around here. Uh, Brazen just can't get over the rollers with that Glambulance, probably because it's too top heavy. However, they are close together. Lado is clear. Brazen. <laughs> oh, he just can't do it, can he? <laughs> uh, Brazen is in trouble. So all Lado has to do now is. I say the fairly simple bit. It's still easy to make little errors. But yeah, through this kind of checkerboardy bit. It does look a little bit unwieldy, that car. Well, we expected the Glambulance to have trouble. We really did expect it to have issues, and... I mean, there was half a chance for it. There was half a chance for it, but yeah, the, the rollers are just too difficult. Well, that's not too difficult, but the rollers are definitely a real challenge for that. Lado is onto the ribbon over there. Brazen. I mean, I kind of. We've got to see whether Lado makes it, but we also want to see if Brazen can actually do this. I'm going to go with a no. It's stuck again. Lado has made it. Lado is through. It's not a. It's not a shock elimination. The two vehicles that we thought were going to struggle the most, I have both been eliminated in the first two rounds. The Glambulance just could not make it across the rollers. And there is the death sound um, for Brazen. Ah, Lado's got wheel issues. Um, that, not so great. I have turbo lag. I have all the turbo lag in the world, basically. Um. <laughs> oh, my car's not really okay. Uh. <laughs> right, hold on. Uh, we can spin around. I don't actually mind too much. I launch so badly, I don't think me being on the front row is all that helpful. Not until later on. We actually always launch so badly. That could be our downfall later on, to be honest. Um, we'll have to wait and see on that. It's just all the turbo lag in the world. Um, I say can't do much about it. <laughs> I was trying to be already rewinding. I slightly mistimed it. Um... But there we go. Right. All Coverts are still in. SBR4 is still here. The Baja Piccolina is here. The Bastion with very little wheels is having issues. That could be in trouble here. Cheria is here. And Speed Beast's truck. Will we see another truck eliminated? Will we see something else? I don't know. We're about to go find out. 
Um, I'm just hoping I don't make any silly mistakes, really, along here. Here we go. Everybody is ready. We will try and spool up our turbo. Here we are off and underway. It's not a great start for Shadow. Uh, oy, it's a very clonky start. It's definitely not a good start for Shadow. Uh, Shadow is in trouble there. Having flipped and uh, we'll have to go back. I don't want the truck behind me particularly. Um, hoping... Oh, wrong gear. Amy has actually had an accident off of here. We are happy to jump over there. Uh, right, into the bollards. I think I saw a danger man have a crash. Oh, Impega almost overshot that section. Got away with it, though. Uh, it is Spieler versus Impega. We are here. I mean, I want to win a heat, of course. I want to win a round. I always want to win a round. However, I'm not going to do anything that risks us being eliminated. Impega threw an under tray at me, uh, <laughs> which is quite funny. But... Uh, there we go. The coverts go in the same way. I'm a little worried about my steering on the donut of death, because if the steering's bought, the donut's going to be a lot more difficult. Um, but yeah, here we go. I'm just taking it easy. Impega's going for the win uh, as we head down the hill. It is going to be... Oh, speed is very sideways. We've actually carried good momentum, but I get a kick of oversteer trying to put down all 300 horsepower being kicked out of the turbo at once. It's a very close race here. If this wasn't a heat, that would have been a lot more manic on the uh, on the end there. Great race. Good battle. Uh, I would yeah, not have been... If that was a, a final, I would not have been that cautious through the end there. Um, and neither would Impega. Probably neither would Spieler uh, at, at that point. Amy is through. We saw that fall off at one point. The Baja Piccolina makes it. Shadow is going to finish. The Covet survives. My, does not, that'll be a decent missing of a wheel because it's rear-wheel drive. Won't be carrying on like that. Speed Beast's truck looks like it's been through the wars. But it does look like it's going to make it. The truck is through. That'll go into the next round. So, the battle of the bad this time out is Danger Man versus Lado. Pretty close together. We know the Bastion's got weak wheels. We know that's having difficulties here. Oh, maybe a bit too low. The howl of the supercharger is not going to be enough to rescue that. That is a Bastion out. Uh, not out, but uh, I have to reset. It's a Bastion stuck. Well, so the SBR4 may be suffering similar problems to the Bastion in, in the, the ride height department, but it has made it so far. It has made it so far as we head down the hill. Uh, Danger Man will head to the left, sensibly does it. Uh, Lado... I mean, Lado will probably be sending it quite hard, and this is also just a case of hope for a mistake. Uh, it'd be impossible to catch up that much time. Um, you're just hoping for Danger Man to get into trouble. So you, you'll go as fast as you can in the hope that Danger Man gets stuck, gets beached, uh, can't rescue the car quickly course, uh, the faster you go, the more likely you are to make a mistake. And that looks like what may have happened back there. Uh, Danger Man oh, has almost overshot the corner, but Danger Man will be going through. Lado is all the way back there. Danger Man with one more corner to go. We'll cross the line. The SBR4 continues onwards. It was a close race at the front. Unfortunately, Lado is eliminated. Bastion is out. Right, oh dear. Uh, we head to the course we started on. Ooh. This is the one that I don't like. This is the one I am many concerns about. Thank you. Ah. <laughs> uh, it's, well, we saw what happened actually last time. I led the way uh, until we got to the end section. So if my suspension gets broken, we could be in trouble. If my suspension stays okay, we should be fine. I mean, there are other covert Mr. Turbos to suffer similar fates. Here we go. Let us see what might transpire here. I don't know if I want to start behind. Uh, I think these cars are quite fast starting in front of me. We know we are really bad off the line. So I'm almost not that fussed about it. Um, 
we in theory should be quite good. Like, we're good here. I've got loads more speed than that truck. I just can't use it. Um, oh, I'm going to sneak to the inside and use... Oh, God. Speed is trying the shortcut. Oh. <laughs> uh, well, the truck cause issue. Well, my suspension may well be broken now. I can't decide what. Maybe I should have reset there, to be honest. Maybe that's going to be the thing. Like, if I get any contact, I might have to reset. Because um, we might be in trouble. Oh, well, Amy's in trouble in a weird position there. Uh, yeah, maybe I should have reset. Oh, no. You know, car's not happy. Car is not happy at all. So, who knows what is going on with my steering. Oh, God, my steering is pulling quite badly. How I got away with that, I don't know. Uh, this has become a very big challenge for the cover. I mean, we're up in third, technically. Come on, cover. You can do this. Your steering's all sorts of knackered. I can't do it. My steering's gone. Oh, I just couldn't turn. It just didn't want to turn. Oh, we're in loads of trouble now. Okay, someone else has had to reset. That gives me some hope. I should have reset initially. I knew we had steering damage. Um, I didn't realize it was that bad. It's one of those that you just don't realize until you're taking the loop. It just wouldn't turn the other way. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, we are going to be a little bit delicate through here. Because we got to. I think Amy has had a bad time as well. Alright, this is not great news for us. However, if we don't make any mistakes, although this, this bit here you can't avoid, you've got to jump. Uh, oh god, don't bounce around like that. Okay, we are up. Probably didn't want second gear for this, because the turbo. Okay, now we're in first. Now we want a little bit more speed. Okay, we are fine. Nicely does it actually have steering this time. Okay, cover. If you get beached, I'm going to be really sad. Um, oh, I went a bit quick over there just to make sure we made it. Uh, no, we're fine, see. I don't know what happened last time then with the car. Uh, it must have been some either some bit of body hanging low or some bit of broken suspension. Yeah. Okay, well, it's not been pretty this round, but we will make it across. We will make it. Uh, it will be between Danger Man and Amy, and it looks like Amy's going out. It looks like the buggy is in trouble. <laughs> Danger Man is very, very rude. I wonder if there were some shenanigans afoot. Danger Man has made it through. The Baja Piccolina is out. There may have been some contact that we didn't see. We got let off the hook a bit. We got quite lucky in that one. I was I was fearing we might have had worse for us. But, yeah. Busted steering early on. Uh, someone... <laughs> oh, Danger Man did, did, a, did a thing, apparently. Uh, we don't quite know what the thing might have been. We didn't get to witness it. We didn't get to witness it on camera, but Danger Man, Danger Man did do a thing right there. So, <laughs> obviously some contact was made somewhere uh, that we didn't get to witness. I'm not going on the front row. Where did that wheel come from? I have no idea. Um, we will go on the back row because we launched so badly. I'm going to be there anyway, so I might as well not have a crash. Uh, Petrolhead, thank you very much for the super chat. Uh, so you sent your photo on Twitter recently of the Fail Race Police Department up to their old tricks. And yeah, let's just say they were on a roll. Oh, the Fail Race Police Department are wonderful. They fall over constantly, pretty much. Um, oh, the jury decided it's in Pegasus fault. Okay, well, the jury has decided. I can't see what else we could possibly do. Uh, <laughs> Jennifer, anyone who kills uh, Danger Man. Uh, <laughs> see how well this is going to go. Right. Here we go. I think we're all ready. It's some combination of a grid. I think there's a few of us slow starting cars that don't actually want to be on the front row. Um, but yeah, we will see how this transpires. We are off and underway. Uh, our side 
gets actually quite neatly into the pipe. Spieler launches better. Me and Shadow just sort of followed into the pipe. Speed Beast has made a little bit of a roadblock. Oh, we fell over. Was not expecting that. Speed Beast actually kind of saved us. Speed Beast would not have been expecting that. Um, I wasn't sure if Speed Beast was going to hit the back of us there. That's why I didn't actually take the best line for all of that. But we have made it work in the covert. Oh, don't, yeah, I don't like the sound of a big V8 behind us. That gives me some anxiety, to say the least. Uh, we are through there. Oh, Shadow has had an off. Uh, Impega's made a lot of speed, so I wonder if Impega got the narrow ramp section right. It's possible. We haven't really seen anyone try it, but uh, maybe Impega braved that one. Oh, Spieler missed that slightly. It is a familiar three up at the front. Uh, I am not really pushing this because I've already seen the back end let go a few times. Don't really see the need in doing it. Speed Beast is going up the other ramp. Impeg is flying up ahead. Uh, oh, God, that's a bit more speed than I really should have done. Uh, we will just slow it down over here. Uh, can't see any cars directly behind, so no need for any silliness. Oh, the oil radiator got damaged by that. The littlest bump in history. But there we go. Oh, hello, Impega. <laughs> Spieler is across the line. Oh, you've taken off. Well, there are problems have occurred for the orange car. Impega with a stunning run there. Speedbees fell off. Oh, the truck was behind us. The truck was right there, but it fell off. So, Danger Man has the SBR4 in a good position. Shadow, I mean, they've made it across the worst of the obstacles at this point. They've made it across the worst obstacles there. Uh, Speedbee, Speed I don't actually quite know when that truck fell off. Oh, the SBR4 with a big spin. That's why I wasn't really gunning it up the ramp. Because uh, the Covert can do that as well. Shadow is just playing it safe. There's no need to risk it. Um, although it does want to go for the overtake. Oh, that pinged off of the post. And I say no need to risk it. And then Shadow goes and does exactly the opposite of what I said. Shadow is just full on going for it. And we'll get fourth. The three... Well, the Covert's apparently the way to go so far. Um, the three Covert's march on. Danger Man's um, SBR4 makes it. Nobody took the bet of murdering Danger Man. Speed Beast is eliminated, unfortunately. Uh, the truck was right there. I didn't see what happened. I don't see where it... Um, where, where the mistake occurred for that. That looked like Speed Beast should have been fine to make it through. But... Things that did go awry, and I'm not even in the right place for that, so whoops. <laughs> uh, FIA Stewards, thank you for the donation. Uh, so, investigation has completed, and Danger Man now has a fall off penalty. Uh, whoop. Um, oh dear. Danger Man has, has been found guilty of whatever shenanigans it was, I presume pushing Amy off. Um, Oh, Speed Beast lost a wheel. Oh, that's what happened. That is unfortunate. Because <laughs> that was looking quite good. Well, we have the three Coverts, Spielers, Cherrier, and Danger Man with an SBR4. I mean, last time we ran through here, me, Impega, and Spieler had a very, very close race. Will that continue? Will we see something different here? We will have to wait and see. We are off and we are underway. Into the jumps we go. Shadow has absolutely launched it. And Shadow, with a big flip, has got away with it. I have eaten a bumper, and that is giving me some issues here. I need to lose this bumper. There we go. We have chucked a bumper at Spieler. Uh, that's fine. There's definitely no way that's going to go wrong. Oh, we are not... No, Spieler swapped sides. Uh, oi. I mean, I both want to push it to see what my car can do, but also no the last thing I want to do is fall off. It's really difficult because you want to learn the courses. You want to see, all right, could I overtake here? Can my car take this jump at this speed? But if I fall off, and we won't, might not even make it to the final. Well, what good is knowing that? Um, it does look like it's just the two of us, which is why I'm actually going to kind of back it off a little bit here um, and not really risk anything. Uh, it's a slight, I say it's a slight downside. I mean, even with not risking anything, uh, it is very easy to make a mistake, especially on the Donut of Death, although the short wheelbase car is pretty good. Um, 
is there a chance we could find a way past the Cheria? I mean, yeah, if this was the final, I would just send it to the inside or something around here. Uh, Impega, oh, funnily enough, these three are back involved at the front once again. Spieler wins, we will take second. Yeah, we would have driven that a lot harder at the final stage there. Um, but we just didn't want to make a mistake. <laughs> There's another good round on this course. There's another good round on this course. It looks like Danger Man... Oh, it looks like Danger Man's got ch car trouble. So the SVR4 is broken. There's clearly something wrong with that car. Shadow might be stuck. Oh, Shadow's also broken. Both those cars are unhappy. Will, will Danger Man's car make it to the end? I think it will, you know. I think the SBR4 will march on. I think the SBR4 maybe is going to march on. It can't turn. It's really had a big whack somewhere. Shadow is catching very quickly. But it's not going to matter. Danger Man is through to a further round. We lose our first cover. Shadow, I mean, it is a good recovery from how far back that was. But Danger Man had enough steering that uh, Shadow was uh, not able to uh, to do it. The cover is eliminated. Uh, we move on. Three car uh, Four cars remain, sorry. And this is my least favourite of the... Uh... Oh! Hello. <laughs> It's my least favourite of the routes here. What are we going to do? Oh. There's not much in the way of... Well, not much in the way of breaking. Um, yeah, Danger Man, has done, Danger Man has done very well with an SBR4 that... Has struggled in places, but it's, it's just doing enough. It's just doing enough. Um... Okay. What is going to happen here? I don't want to break my suspension. It's kind of a... I, I really don't... I always don't want to be involved in the race, but I could sit in fourth and hope for a mistake the whole time and then crash on my own or something. Uh, I didn't get... I didn't rev my engine up properly. I think speed is also playing it a little careful. Nope, doesn't look like it. As I just saw it shoot forward. Um, oh, Spieler wanted to hurry up. Oh, Spieler has really wanted to hurry up. My car's broken. I will not make it with that level of damage. Uh, so Danger Man has not reset. Now, the SBR4 might stand a better chance than me doing it damaged. I know my, my car had a broken tyre and damaged suspension. We saw what happened when I tried it last time. I would rather reset there, have a fresh car, blitz the course, than worry about can it make it and then reset right at the end. You lose. I'll lose so much time doing that. I'm better off just doing this and hope... Either hope either I can be quick enough to catch the poorly SBR4 or hope someone makes a mistake. Uh, that is the goal. Uh, come on, Mr. Turbo. You can make it. Danger Man has made the mistake that we wanted to see. Uh, oh, and we make it across. Okay. Across the Mentos. We go. Just nothing stupid now. For the covert. Yeah, so if I hadn't reset that, could I have made it? Maybe. But we just don't know at that point. Uh, right, and Pega has made it. Spieler's car is probably a little unhappy from the uh, contact earlier on. We are going to just make sure I clear that. Uh, and yeah, we don't really just, just don't do anything stupid at this point. Ah, uh, yeah, it was unfortunate contact at the start. However, I think it was worthwhile a reset. Uh, we are across the line. Well, it's perhaps the three. Um, it's perhaps the three cars we expected to see here. Uh, they've been quick throughout. Two Coverts and a Chariot. Danger Man did incredibly well with an SBR4 that is still going. Somehow... It just refuses to die, but I will give credit where it is due. It keeps on trying its way through the course. Ugh. And it is off towards the finish line. Well done to Danger Man to making it to the end. 
But the SBR4 is eliminated. This next round is going to be brutal. <laughs> All three of these cars. It's not a big surprise, right, that these three are the three. Perhaps not a big surprise, considering I can find ways to balls it up. Um, but yeah, it might not be the biggest surprise that these three are here. However, now it could go anyway. It could go anyway. Um, Impega was very quick through this course after an early reset last time out. I know I'm not going to launch well. That's why I'm behind speed, because I think that car's going to launch faster than me. Let's go and see what happens. Oh, let's try it. I'm going to try and make sure I hit the start correctly this time. We are off. We are underway. Into the tubes we go. Now, you've, it's going to be maximum aggression, pretty much, from the get-go. Uh, Speeder is up the pipes. They are making contact. Maybe that will come good for me. I was in the wrong gear through that section. Uh, they are both going that side. I'm going to avoid... I'm going to go a different way, because if they tangle with each other, fantastic. I can avoid that, maybe. And Impega has fallen off. Impega is off. So... Oh, I think he's off. I couldn't see the nameplate, but I guess they could have just been further back a little bit. Uh, now, don't lose the car up here. And I think Speed is actually on a better run. So across the checker or across the cheese grater, it's fine. Across this bit, Speeder has actually got a slightly better run up here, although we have covered that off. I can hear a car behind. I don't know who that is. That would be the Cherrier. Uh, we will head through the loop. So yeah, Impega lost it. I don't quite know where Impega lost it through all of that. But something went wrong. And now it's just... Oh, I'm in the wrong gear slightly. And now, yeah, it's just me and Sweeter just go, beans it up on the run down here. Uh, I'm slightly... The one thing I'm concerned about is an out-of-control chariot managing to wipe me out. That is possible, uh, but I suspect Sweeter won't want to do that. We are going to... Oh, Sweeter has had a crash by the looks of it. Oh... We are across the line. We take victory in an important round. Spieler is second. Impega unlucky. Whoever came out of this one, you know, whoever got eliminated was going to be unlucky. All three cars have been very quick here. Uh, Impega is out. It's Covert versus Cheria in the final. Oh. I mean, I'm. this is actually quite nerve-wracking. <laughs> this is... It's been a hell of a tournament, this one. What do you reckon, chat? Which way is this going to go? I mean, I don't even know. The problem we're going to have is Speeder is going to launch better than us. I can't do anything. My car just does not launch as well. However... Can we come good at some point in this? We will have to wait and see. Yeah, chat, what do you reckon? Uh, Speedo, you might want to reset your... Actually, no, to be fair, if you don't reset your car, your bumper can be the other side of the map, so it's one less thing for me to eat along the way, which is good. Um, uh, yeah. I, I, I'm expecting to be behind, but we know our car is good in places. We've been, we followed Speeder pretty much right the whole way through this course last time out. So, it is going to be interesting. Um, right. Let's, let's run it. Let's run it. Here we go. The final of the rear wheel drive slicks. Speeder with maybe a little bit of a flinch before. Oh, we wanted to send it bit harder than the Cherrier. Uh, I probably do not want to follow exactly. So we will probably diverge a little bit here. Right. Try and get these jumps nicely. Oh, we're broken. We're broken. My bumper fell under my car. Ah. Oh, no. It's dead. It's... Oh. After such a close... After two such close races on the final. So my bumper went under my car and I lost steering. And I just couldn't line it up for the jump. Uh, that's... Uh, we maybe should have followed 
through that uh, early section. Maybe we should have followed, not made the contact. Oh. I mean, it's not going to matter now. Uh, yeah, that's that's what happened. We ate a bumper. <laughs> it's our turn to eat a bumper. No. I mean, it'll... Actually, have we beached on our own bumper? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, we are out of that one. We are done. Um, there we go. Spieler will win. It is a very good, very good race. Well done, Spieler. I say a very good race. We've had some very good races. Unfortunately, the final um, just did not did not go our way on that one. Yeah, maybe maybe what we should have done is not... I, to be fair, I actually expected that to be well in front of us by the uh, by the time we got there, so I was kind of surprised that we were still alongside. Uh, um, yeah, should have avoided that contact really and followed and then tried to make a move elsewhere. Um, would have been the sensible thing to do. However, I didn't at the end of that. And yeah, we were never catching after that without any mistakes. Well, there we go. Well done, Spieler. We at least made it to the final. I'm happy enough with that. I say I'm happy enough with that. Could have been a lot worse. Um, so yeah, relatively happy. I, I mean, this is great fun. This is it's a wonderful map. Uh, you, uh, I don't actually know if it's available for public download. Yeah, this is a Death Run map uh, made by made by Spieler over here. Um, but yeah, it is a, uh, a very very good fun. Good fun map, good fun challenge, that is for sure. Um, before we do go, donations to read. Uh, Chris, thank you very much for the donation. Um, saying the Citroen CX with its hydro pneumatic suspension was so complicated that even if even the slightest thing went wrong, the dashboard warning light shouting stop would flash. However, when it does work, it's been claimed to be the easiest car to drive ever created. I have heard many things about that. Well... I heard many things about Citroen suspension. It is amazing when it works. And when it doesn't work, it is a massive headache. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah. Um, it's very cool. It's unbelievable technology, especially for the time. But, yeah, so many things can go wrong. Um, that, uh, yeah, it's probably not a surprise that many of them did. Uh, but, yeah, really cool piece of tech. Really cool piece of tech, that Citroen. Um, it's one of those cars I'd love to drive. I'd never want to own but would be fascinating to see what it drives like. Because, um, yeah, it is very, very cool indeed. Uh, unit, thank you very much for the uh, donation. Just to get the, you know, the donation gold uh, to read, uh, of course, point, uh, point 0.81, naturally. The cultivated one is there. Um, Drake, thank you for the donation. Saying joke time. Uh, what, should you, what should you do if you see your neighbour washing their car with their son? Uh, tell them to use a sponge instead. Yeah, yeah, you should do that. You should do that. Um, and you will definitely get a boo. Oh, and there's some laggy weirdness. Um, you will definitely get a boo on that one. Uh, also, I recently found something that really grinds my gear, said Alex. Uh, what is it, Lado asked. Alex replied, clutch failure. Yeah, yeah. Considering how we were starting with this car, that was almost accurate. We were burning the gears up. Or clutch up, actually. Um, but uh, <laughs> there we go. Um, there will be some booze to you as well from chat, I have no doubt. That has been... I hope you've enjoyed it. I've had a lot of fun. Some frustrations along the way. Um, the Pazima just didn't go my way. I, sh I just didn't have the patience for the Pazima right there. Um, the cover I really enjoyed. I'm slightly gutted. Like, I don't mind... I don't mind the fact that I lost. I just... I'm frustrated with how that race went, having had some really close and really good races in that. Yeah, but... There you go. That is... We're going to go the orange blob of Danger Man. Well, the orange blob of Danger Man has fallen in the water anyway. That is going to be the end of this stream. I do hope you have all enjoyed watching this silliness, the madness unfold. Oh, that, uh, that is some good old Fall Guys. I'm sure we'll come back to this at some point. I think it actually works pretty well. We might have different formats. We might trial some different formats for this. Um, I might go for... Um, the uh, like winner progresses in the final and all of that kind of thing so yeah um, we'll probably try this again at some point in the stream because I think it is uh, 
I think it works very well. Uh, Lado, thank you for the donation as well. Saying I have uh, DM'd uh, you what we have narrowed down the final four ideas for the name. Ah, we have the final four. So keep an eye out for a poll uh, going up for the the, the final four uh, van names have been selected. Um, also, apparently, Lado saying Alex eats his fingernails, which, you know, Lado always has to put weird stuff in donation messages. Alas, that is going to be it for this evening's stream. A very big thank you to everybody who donated. I think I read everything. I do apologise if I missed any in the madness that was trying to keep the cars on this circuit. Um, yeah, sorry if I did miss, but it is greatly appreciated indeed. Uh, I will be back uh, streaming on Sunday. Probably be GTA this time around, but there will indeed be a stream. You know, hopefully, there will be a stream on Sunday. Uh, <laughs> Couldn't resist. <laughs> oh, Danger Man reset. Oh, and Shadow got calm and hard in that one. Although I can't go back up because my rear wheel is inside out. So, yeah, I hope you will be able to uh, to all join for the Sunday stream. But, yeah, that is going to be it from me, of course. A very big thank you to everybody for watching. Until next time, a uh, goodbye.